doesn't matter. Again, Mr. Williams, I invite you to conversate with me directly. I don't do all this internet stuff. The problem is, is you're going after my family, you post my children, and then you mention my name. So you and I, we need to have a conversation. And yes, this is a forever problem. It's me, Darius Cooks, also known as your local scammer. You are, you know, you gay, grown up in Chicago. You just end up being with a tribe of people. I don't know. It's really hard to explain. I, it might be different now, but when I was growing up, there were crews. We had people we hung with, right? Anyway, and I hung with people like, you remember Calvin, LaBelle, you know, those are people that I used to hang with back in the day, and you see what happened now, especially with randomness of veil. We ain't heard hide nor have him, have we? We ain't heard hide nor have him, have we? Come to think of it, let me not bring his name up, because let me tell you something. He probably, child, he ready to go. Where's the expose? Where is the expose? So they don't know what's about to go on. You just attack them. You just attack them up. What did I say? I said, you better do what I said to do. Did they think you're crazy? If they think you're crazy, they'll just walk away slowly like that. Uh, we drove all the way from Wilmington, North Carolina to get scammed by Darius Cooks. And boy, did he scam us good. We were so, so enthralled by everything. We are so impressed, and I can't wait to get scammed again. Thank you, Darius Cooks, for an amazing, amazing experience. We talked about it all the way back to the hotel. Love you, and hello to our table mates who were so amazing and friendly. Five, six, seven, eight. Why you gotta lie so much? You must wake up and just make up stuff. Cause I just do not understand why. Every time you talk, you tell a quick lie. Yeah. You and your lies gotta go. It got so tired of talking to Pinocchio. Then you had a nerd of little folks in the eyes. Knowing that you telling them lies. You been telling them lies. I asked you about this. Did yeah, you lie about it? Yeah. I asked you about that. Did yeah, you lie about it? Yeah. Get them lies together. They all over the place. I bet a Jesus came back. You a lot of his face. Yeah. I guess you wanna see how far your nose can grow. I said, P no, P no. I guess you wanna see how far your nose can grow.
toes can grow. No, boo! Let's go. Start telling all them lies. Number one, let's go. Because I don't believe that you say at this point. Because all you do is la la la. La la la. La 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 la. Mama! Mama! All right, we well, want that. What's up, good people? Let me know that you can hear me in the chat by typing either uh, chow chow or roll to 50K subs. Chow chow or roll to 50K subs because um, <clears throat> on YouTube, we will, uh, we're just a, a couple thousand from um, 50,000 subs. So please hit that like button. If you haven't, uh, as of yet, I forgot to put the poll in. I'm just noticing. Uh, I was sitting here trying to get this uh, epic show together, and I just spent the entire day editing a two and a half hour uh, a live stream. The BS that Darius Crooks uh, was doing during his um, date with Tommy, his dinner date with Tommy. Uh, and so today we are going to uh, watch that. We're going to do our little reaction to it. Uh, we made another discovery. Well, I did. You, you guys will see it soon uh, during that live stream. And um, yeah, uh, but thank you first to everyone who's letting me know that you can hear me in the chat by typing either chow chow or uh, roll to 50k subs. Uh, we got Maddie's mama, Delilah, R.N. Smith, Jamise, Don, Mocha, Barbie, Life of London, uh, Lunda, uh, Nicole, Marianne, His MJ, uh, True Blue, and Fifi, and Miss DeWalt, and Deborah, and everyone else who's letting me know you can hear me uh, over here on the YouTube and Facebook side. I appreciate you. And for those on Instagram, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, the polls that I put out are only... Uh, available on the YouTube side. So if you're viewing on Facebook or, or Instagram, please feel free to um, answer your uh, answer to the poll in your chat or uh, come on over here to YouTube where you can fully engage in um, the conversation. So um, I just noticed that I don't know, y'all. I was busy. I was busy trying to get ready for the show. I'm like, did, did our rant uh, video play? Uh, either way, we have um, a couple of our quick little videos to uh, remind us of who we're talking about. We're talking about uh, Darius Crooks, who likes to play uh, church and play with God and play in God's face constantly. Uh, here's a little reminder of that for those of you who don't know or just want to be reminded. Ba, 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 ba. Is it alive? You may be seated in the presence of our Lord and Savior. All right. Is it alive? You may be seated in the presence of our Lord and Savior. All right. Drinking, playing drunk, and playing with God. Mm, what a deadly combination. Uh, then let's not forget also Darius Crooks and the toxicity of um, how he thinks that everyone who is not him is beneath him, including his followers. At their dead-end job, they're fat, they have no future, no talent. I don't take criticism from people who are poorer than me. Thank you. Okay, as I was saying, these are the Greek chicken meatballs, okay? So you can do a whole lot of good stuff. And um, as we move into our show for today, what we have planned is um, we're going to revisit the Soul Cake. Uh, I told you guys about uh, Brie, who is the creator, Brie Miller, who is the creator of the Soul Cake. We watched videos last week on this um, and talked about it. Well, I was working on another project and I ended up doing a deep dive and realized that Brie is way more than what I thought just from the, the snapshots I grabbed to put our last story together. So uh, I felt like it was worth revisiting this week because I was like, I did not do her justice at all on so many levels. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to revisit that with so many new pieces to it. 
Uh, then we're going to talk about the watermelon chow chow, watermelon chow chow that Darius Crooks has claimed to um, cre have created and invented. And then we're going to look into um, where it looks like he actually got it from. <laughs> then we're going to move into our um, reaction video of Darius and uh, his new brother and business partner, Tommy's uh, dinner date. And uh, that's uh, it was two and a half hours worth of footage that I've been editing for all day. Um, and I got it down to like 47 minutes. So we're still in for a long show is what they're saying. <laughs> so we're going to start with, oh, little housekeeping, little housekeeping. Um, we have some unofficial um, unofficial producers of the show, I think now. And uh, I wasn't aware until I saw the comments. And so I was like, well. Let, let me follow suit and uh, do what I must do. Um, first of all, let me close out this poll. Thank you to, uh, out of the 84 of you who voted, thank you to the 90% of you who uh, voted that, uh, yes, you have liked this video and you have shared it uh, on the platforms you're on. I greatly appreciate it because all of this is free to you, but it is invaluable to me when you like and share the video and the growth of this channel. Thank you. Appreciate you. Um, Poll question I'm putting out, this is based on uh, my new employer, um, Lady J Eats. Uh, Lady J says that uh, here, let me put this up. Vail, please stop doing the voices to mock his followers. It seems childish. I love the fact that you are exposing him though. He is a fraud and love um, a, a heart. Then we have uh, Sherry Williams. Sherry Williams says, oh my God, I thought I was the only one feeling this way. I can't do the lives because of that. I have to fast forward through the theatrics. I really miss the Sweetie Pies days. Now, uh, Sherry is out of the loop because on Wednesdays we do, uh, we've been doing for months. Uh, we do a Sweetie Pie's, uh, the trial reaction, uh, reenactment. We've been doing it for months, and she acting like uh, we don't do no no Sweetie Pie's content. So she ain't really cued in, but, you know, that's a whole other story. Um, so this is they're producing our show now. They're producing the show. Um, they want me to stop. So should they want me to just do a lecture here, straight, no, no theatrics, no comedy, knowing none of it. Should I stop being childish? Because that's what, um, that's what, um, and acting these, well, childish and the theatrics. I thought I had, uh, put this in already, but, um, so if y'all say stop, I will stop it. We'll just go to me, you know, doing lecture style. I mean, I've held training meetings before. We can we can do this like a training meeting. We can surely do that. I can do PowerPoint slides and all of that. I come from corporate America. Um, so uh, do you agree with Lady, uh, what is that? Lady J Eats 2006 uh, that I'm, I should stop because I'm childish uh, or uh, also Sherry Williams? Uh, who says she can't watch? She has to fast forward through the theatrics. <laughs> I don't know. I told them I'm doing what the majority enjoy from the comments I get, besides stuff like this. Uh, people good with it. So, um, <laughs> well, it's like the great majority. And I just told, you know, I, I, I responded in the comments. I don't always respond, but I did this time. Y'all know I've been in the mood. It's every season. <laughs> I've been in the mood. Um, so I did say I was going to do a poll during the next show. And if everyone agrees with her, because uh, obviously she thinks her opinion matters enough to get me to change the show, that uh, I would stop doing it. But it looks like 80%, uh, 86% of y'all are saying, uh, keep doing what we're doing. All right. Well, sorry for you, Lady J, and the 14%, 13% of you, um, you know, Either deal with it or, or don't. <laughs> anyway, moving on to um, 
our next topic, well, first official topic of the show, the revisit of the soul cake. Remember on last week, we talked about uh, the soul cake, a.k.a. Um, what Darius Crooks calls the cornbread and what do you call it? Cornbread and collard green cake. Um, and we talked about the origins of it. How did it exist? How did it come up? So just as a little reminder, here's a clip from an interview that Darius Crooks did. I think it was about, it's, this, this is either 2014 or 2015. He did an interview with uh, Dr. Renee, who was truly a dehiver at the time. I'm not sure if uh, she still is to this day. But here's the interview where they actually talk about uh, what she thinks was Darius Crook's creation. This is insane. And what was really crazy to me, although I see all your posts, which, you know, I watch all your stuff, but I was watching the reel and they were talking about food and here comes Lonnie. And I said, I told my sister, did you see the reel today? She's like, yes. I said, you saw Darius's cupcake. <laughs> so Lonnie was talking about how good it was. And I said, oh my God, that is his cupcake. And then who was like, you've had a lot of celebrities tweet about yeah. your food. Hold on to that because she's saying that, um, oh, well, here, here, let me finish this, uh, this part. She just said that, uh, I'm gonna replay the whole thing because it's only 26 seconds. Listen to this uh, thoroughly as we move forward. Yeah. This is insane. Time. And what was really crazy to me, although I see all your posts, which you know, I watch all your stuff, but I was watching the reel and they were talking about food and here comes Lonnie and I said, I told my sister, did you see the reel today? She's like, yes. I said, you saw Darius's cupcake. <laughs> so Lonnie was talking about how good it was. And I said, oh my God, that is his cupcake. And then who was like, you've had a lot of celebrities tweet about yeah. your food. Yeah, I have. So one of my new homies is Amber Riley from Glee. Oh! And so there begins the gaslighting because what I later realized over this weekend after doing the deep dive of uh, Brie Miller is how accomplished this young lady or woman, she's a woman, uh, is. Brie is known in celebrity circles and really everywhere except for Darius Crook's followers and me who just didn't wasn't aware and some of y'all who just wasn't aware. Everybody knew that Brie was the creator of this, except for people who followed Darius Crooks. And he took advantage of their ignorance, as he does all the time, like literally all the time. Brie was written up in Delish, on Delish.com, uh, sharing the article here. This article is from, oh, let me move this, hold on. I was working on some stuff. How are we going to do it? I think that's a good one. This article was written on October 6th of 2015, uh, and it was updated. They say Chrissy Teigen shows off her cornbread uh, cake with mashed potato frosting. It's all of, the, of your Southern favors layered into one incomprehensible dessert. It says, remember the Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory when Violet chews gum and uh, gum that is a three course meal. Now swap a cake for a piece of gum and you'll come close to understanding um, the, the all kinds of crazy that this cornbread layer cake that has been iced with mashed potatoes, drizzled with gravy and topped with fried chicken. The cake is the creation of Los Angeles based Brie Miller, AKA Brie's cake again. For the D havers in the in the because they're gonna over there to uh talk about some veil don't have no receipts. The cake is the creation of Los Angeles based baker Bree Miller, aka Bree's cake, who has done an interview with Darius Crooks over that cake or cornbread uh collard green fiasco. Nobody. Why? Because the people in the industry know she didn't invent it. Model Chrissy, Chrissy Teigen appreciates the food. We reported how she loves herself Taco Bell 
and has her own amazing Doritos trick. So it didn't come as a surprise to us when we caught her posing with this incredible cake. I, I took that out. It's, it's coming up anyway. But anyway, y'all saw the picture last week where it shows Chrissy Teigen with the soul cake. The original cake was incredibly random. Miller was uh, challenged by a friend on a whim. Darius Crooks has never talked about how he came up with the idea because then he would have to say, oh, I was on Brie Miller's uh, Instagram or on her Twitter because she was on Twitter too. That's why I found it. Or I read this Delish article before my followers did. <laughs> Brie says that she was challenged by a friend on a whim. He texted, uh, she was quoted as saying, he texted me a photo of a dish that was more like a casserole and asked if I thought I could recreate something like it with my own twist. She says, I was like, heck yeah, challenge accepted. This is Brie Miller with, um, back when she invented it, this is her taking a picture. Darius Crook's version don't look nan bit as beautiful as this. This is Darius Crook's version. This is another piece, uh, uh, show of the sloppy fiasco. To make this beast, Brie baked the cornbread like she would a normal cake. Then she iced it with mashed potatoes using her trusty angled spatula when the potatoes were still hot. Look at her giving description. Look at this close up. This thing looks actually good. Look how well that is. And that does look like frosting, but it's mashed potatoes. This bull ish, <laughs> this monstrosity, this sloppy, sad, three inches of sadness cake looks nothing like this. It looks like an imitation, it looks like a, a Timu version of this cake. <laughs> it's a, a Timu version of this cake. She says, I just treated the potatoes like they were buttercream icing. Darius Crooks don't go into no type of detail like this. It was difficult because I couldn't touch the cake because it was burning hot. And also I had to move really fast because once the mashed potatoes started to cool, they started to fall off the cake. Darius Crooks has never given this level of detail about how you make this how he created, how he came up with the idea, how he tested it, what he had to, what he learned through the process. To make the, this dish more cake-like, Brie added borders to put uh, borders by putting potatoes in a piping bag and drizzle gravy down the sides. That's also what Darius Crooks attempted to do. And this is what she got. It ain't even fully iced. Look at, you can see the cornbread through it. It's translucent. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I had to redo this, y'all, because I didn't know this article existed. And a bunch of a few other things I'm gonna show y'all. I did not know. I tell y'all, it's layers to this stuff. It takes you down a rabbit hole. Brie first made it for her family and then shared it with her friend, rapper The Game. This is chronologically archived because celebrities got a hold of this and started showing their pictures and buying it for their friends and all of that. Darius Crooks has nobody who's been doing that, except for the D-Hacks. Well, actually he never sold the cake. He copied what she did, put it on Twitter and, and fake made it on his video and just went viral from that. He's never produced this cake for others, like as far as the public. Love it alone, don't even talk about the cake no more. Well, except for when people say, I remember you from, that's how I found out about you. The soul cake. It wasn't his. But because the cake got popular and people didn't know that when they're seeing celebrities with it, et cetera, that it ain't his, just like his, um, the Dr. Renee who interviewed him, she talked about she saw it on, um, on the reel. She saw Bree's cupcake on the reel, just like Bree was on, the Hallmark channel with it, just like Brie was in another uh, Access Hollywood. I think we uh, I got a clip up. That's whose cupcake she saw. But she assumed it was Darius Crooks because she follows him and he claims that it was his. 
crazy, y'all. And he lo- that's why he loves the fact that they are uninformed. And he uses that to his advantage. She says she shared it with her friend, Rapper the Game, who suggested that she add mac and cheese and candy yams. That's how that candy yams and mac and cheese got in there. The game. This was his recommendation. Even he was smart enough not to say no collard greens because <laughs> it'd be too goddamn soggy. And hers are three layers. This lobby wannabe two layer, two thin layers of Jiffy cornbread. She's quoted as saying, the cake morphed into three layers of cornbread with a layer of candy yams and a layer of mac and cheese, which is still iced with mashed potatoes and topped with fried chicken. So she enhanced it with the mac and cheese and the yams. Darius Crooks has no evolution to his copied version. I dubbed it the soul cake. It tastes awesome. It's like a whole meal in a slice of cake. I've gotten a lot of mixed feelings about it, but if you have all those foods touching on a plate, you're going to eat them together. I know I do. I think people were confused because it looked like a cake, but it's not a dessert. That's Brie Miller. That's one of her, another one of her interviews because she created that. Again, where's Darius Crooks' interviews? Where's his uh, publicity and and public coverage of it? Poll question, we're closing out. Have you heard of Brie Miller? Only 31% of y'all knew who this young woman was, this young lady is. She's a grown woman. (laughs) Grown woman married with kids and all that, but I know she's younger than me, so I'm calling her a young lady. Only 31%. So it's easy for a Darius Crooks to put a false narrative out there. And I didn't know who she was. I did not know who she was. The, the, when I first heard of the, the soul food cake or whatever, the cornbread cake, whatever the thing is that he's calling it, um, people were saying he made it. I didn't know no better. I just was like, whatever, it looks a fool, but okay. I didn't know. That this was a that was another one of his stolen uh stolen uh ideas plagiarized. All I knew was he stole food trucks. <laughs> I didn't know he was stealing recipes too, but I didn't know that part. Poll question I just put out on the on the YouTube uh side is did you once think that Darius Crooks invented the cornbread cake, aka the soul cake? Did you think? At one point, whether you know now or you know or believe it now or not, did you ever think that he had actually created it? The list of celebrities, uh, as it pertains to Brie Miller, who have purchased this cake and advertised it on their social medias, etc., uh, and her her other other desserts: Chrissy Teigen and John Legend, The Kardashians, Kevin Hart, Mariah Carey. Floyd Mayweather, the game, who we mentioned, Ray J, Ryan Seacrest, and Garcelle, I'm forgetting her name, the Garcelle from uh, the Housewives, and she used to be on the Jamie Foxx show, that Garcelle. Those are the ones I ran into with the quick, you know, stuff I was doing over the weekend. But that's not it. Let's let's revisit Darius Crooks uh, making this, uh, monst- this Timu version of Bree's brilliant creation. So let's assemble <laughs> the cake. First things first is I want to put a little glue on the plate so that our cake has something to sort of sit on to, all right? So just like that, all right? Now, remember that cornbread we baked off earlier? Here we go, all right? Here is the first layer. It's cooled off a little bit, so you can work with it. All right, and if we did everything right, it should just slide out the pan with no problem. Look at that. He looks like an amateur trying to put, trying to create this. He looked like an amateur trying to put this together. Very poorly. Right, uh, the watcher. What a heck. 
Because if it was his creation, it would look like this. <laughs> right, I hate to make This is some good eating, all right? Look at that. Nice and even. And there we go, all right? This looks pretty good to me. Pretty even there. All right, so then our collard greens, right here, right on top. All right, that looks pretty good to me, all right? And then here's our other layer of cornbread that's gonna go right on top. Our other layer of cornbread, it comes right out very easily, just like that, okay? This goes right on top, and we're gonna press it down a little bit and really get it in there. All right, so with an offset spatula, here we go. It's just like frosting a cake. I'm gonna take some of these mashed potatoes, and I'm gonna put them on top, and then roll it down the side, and I'm gonna frost the cake. Here we go. Now, I did at least speed some of it up. <laughs> I, I muted and sped some of it up. But I, again, because everybody don't watch every episode, so I'm like, for those of y'all who didn't see, I want y'all to see him trying to reproduce what Bree, Bree Miller's uh, soul cake. And claiming it as his own. Shameful. Stealing from another black woman. Shameful. Right on top, just like this. Mmm. Super easy to do. This fried chicken was so amazing. It's super crispy because of that flour and that cornstarch. And use your favorite, whatever way you like to decorate or season your chicken, decorate. Season your chicken, you go for it, all right? I'm just dropping some pieces right around, just like that, all right? Look at that, that looks so great. And then the last bit is our gravy that we made, right? And the gravy just goes right on top because gravy, chicken, and potato go so well together. So you just put some right just like this, right? There's no right and wrong way to do this. It's gravy, potato, collard greens. It's the food I grew up eating. Serve all in one bite, just like this. All right, can't wait to give this a try. Here we go. I'm gonna cut a little piece right there with the cornbread. Oh yeah, look at this. The cornbread and the collard greens right off on the inside and get the whole bite. I'm gonna give it a taste. Here we go, here we go. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's it, that's it. Mm. The cornbread is super moist, super sweet, super decadent. I get a hit of that gravy that's so good and delicious. Really savory and unctuous. Watch this. Mm. You know that crunch? That crunch is from a fried chicken out of this world. Season to perfection. It tastes so good. Mm. Listen, this is a cake. You saw it go viral. It's all over Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and it's now on my website. It's DariusCooks.com. Two things I gotta tell you, all right? Food is my life. Life is my food. Until next time, I gotta wish you happy cooking from my heart to yours. Now, this is the real version of how the cake is made. This is posted on Bree's Instagram because um, I forgot the name of the, the, the platform, but they recreated her cake and she's promoting them advertising how to make her cake. Or well, that's her making. I don't know if that's her hands or not. Again.
this is the way it's supposed to look. Not this or this. <laughs> this is the version from I had to screenshot this when I was <laughs> when I was working today. I was like, let me get this version. This is her actually making it without being able to doctor the picture up. <laughs> the T move version. <laughs> ah. Our next guest is the go-to pastry chef for all celebs out there, like Kevin Hart, Tyra Banks, Chrissy Teigen. It goes on and on. Of them. And many of her creations have even gone viral. She is joining us now. Brie Miller, owner of Brie's Cakes in L.A. How would you get into the cake business or bacon business? So I actually started as a hobby when I was in college. I was studying something completely different, and I just kind of fell into this hobby, and it just quickly turned into this, like, passion and I just ran with it. So I think it was once I took that leap of faith and got out of college yeah. and really put all my time and effort into it is when I really, you know, started to blow up a little I bit. I feel like when we were in quarantine, everybody thought of themselves as a baker. Yes. Like oh, the yeah. baking started getting next level. I was getting a lot of banana bread, which I love, by the way. I think now that I've been in this industry for like a decade, I feel more confident when it comes to like the more elaborate designs and things. But right. You know, I have a very big artistic background. I'm very good with art and painting, and that I just kind of took into the baking. Not only do you have your awesome bakery, but you've gone viral several times. What are some of the desserts that have gone viral? So one of the desserts, I guess it's a dessert uh, that I've known for, is my soul cake. Look at that. Which yeah. I brought for you guys today. Oh, you my did, gosh. and that's a real piece of so fried what chicken. Is, yeah. So it's not really a dessert. It just looks like a dessert. It is a savory cake. Can I get in here? Yeah. You can get in there. So the, the layers are actually cornbread. It's frosted with mashed potatoes. Has oh, layers. Oh. I wasn't ready for that. No, that's a good little combo. I thought <laughs> everything you were, is savory. So I, thought everything. You, I thought you were like borderline crazy. Oh, no, no, with no. The pig. Wait, guys, and, I thought it was like icing. So that's gravy, so, mashed, so, mashed potatoes, potatoes this is so good. gravy. So we got good. yams, mac and cheese. This so is, it, it's the soul cake. And that's cornbread. I was uh, yeah. ready to bite yeah. into something so sweet. Wait, this you know is, how they this got is it. so good. It is literally Wait, soul that food is and unbelievable. So wow. clever. All right. <laughs> I don't know how you talk about that. I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> and uh, in response to Cherry Black, uh, that lady, not Black Veil, I knew somebody was going to do that, so I was prepared. Um, Y'all got to watch doing that as Black people because we come in all shapes, sizes, and colors, et cetera. I have cousins who look just like Brie, and they are Black. They actually are 100% Black. Brie is uh, identifies as a black woman and she ain't doing a Rachel Dolezal. She identifies as a black woman and she is, in fact, and it's a shame we even have to have this conversation, but uh, her father's black. Her father is black. She is biracial. So she is a black woman. Don't make assumptions because black people can have straight hair and be uh, very light complected. Again, I got family members who look just like her. Yeah, Black Cherry, you sound ignorant. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. You sound ignorant. Don't do that. Don't ever make, you shouldn't make those sort of mistakes. Um, a little too old for that. I don't even know how old you are, but you're too old for that. We are at the kitchen with celebrity pastry chef Bree Miller, and she is about to make her famous soul cake. <laughs> Let me help uh, show a few people how popular you are. With the, some of the celebrities that that are there's Kevin Hart is a big fan of mm -hmm. yours, Kevin as Hart. well as Chrissy Teigen. We have the photos. Yeah, there's Kevin. Yeah. Kevin, awesome. let's have Kevin. <laughs> He's so funny. He's yeah, they love guy. the and that beautiful wow. Chrissy. Yeah. Yeah. I find it hard to believe. So that's the picture that was in the article that wasn't showing up. This is Chrissy Teigen, uh, John Legend's wife. Now I'm remembering everybody's name. John Legend's wife with their soul food cake, and then she gifted it to the Kardashians. She's eating that cake. I, no, she you. actually orders the most out of everybody. I She's really? ordered I at least her. four of the cakes and is constantly ordering the cupcake version that I have in front of you guys. This is so we're yeah. gonna we're gonna put together your soul. Oh yeah, we're, we're gonna, gonna show you guys how it. to put it together. Here, her celebrity Are you shout out. Leave my birthday cake. No. It's the first Again, I'm just showing you because I know the deep flying monkey. Oh, because I can do this because y'all gave me permission, even though um, our uh, producers. <laughs> The ones I ain't never hired told me I can't, I shouldn't be doing this. But the flying monkeys gonna be looking, they gonna be like, that's not true. I massacred created it because that's when I met him. Oh my God, don't take that away from me. <laughs> Sorry, the truth is the truth. 
We do the truth and the light over here. This is true transparency, not the gaslighting, love bombing, cult like transparency he's talking about. Birkin, I can afford. <laughs> <laughs> Who made you that Birkin? Oh, look at your kids. It's all, oh, all my, my boys, gosh. all three. Um, this girl, That's I want amazing. her to come here and bake a do a cake for us. She does all kinds of it's called Breeze Cakes, mm -hmm. and she makes all these incredible cakes. So I got a Birkin. Uh -huh. That's the Kardashians. I come back in town, and of course, Chrissy and John have to outdo me with the gingerbread houses and get me a mashed potato, a mashed potato and fucking fried chicken cake. Tell me this is not this is so the craziest thing. Just a little, um, um, Oh, my, my brain shutting down. <laughs> I've been working too long. <laughs> a little montage, a little compilation of all of Bree's shout outs, all the pictures that show her soul food cake. In some cases, her, the celebrities, the this and that, all the activity that she was getting around her soul food cake. You don't see none of this with Darius Crook's version. I can do this with my eyes closed. It's too easy. Chicken and potato go so well I can do this together. With my eyes so you just put some right just like this. Right? There's no right and wrong. It's too easy. It's too easy. I've been there, done it, seen it. Boy, all that like Keenan. I did that. Still got crack, they feeling. That's true. Flow still hot like Phoenix. Shine so bright, I'm gleaming. This off top, I'm tweaking. Fresh out the rat like me. Still trying to fight my demons. <laughs> Y'all know I'm petty. Y'all know I'm petty. <laughs> I did that today. <laughs> and if I had more time, I would have tightened it up even more. <laughs> it's too easy. <laughs> we can do this with our eyes closed. Did y'all see Bree looking at him? I wish I could. I, I had to do some manipulating to make that happen because that's not what she was actually doing, of course. <laughs> all right, so... Let's of course, we watched it all this foolishness again. Let me do that part just one more time. <laughs> I worked hard to make this work out too, so y'all gotta watch it again. <laughs> this thing takes a lot of buffer. I think it's right here, somewhere up in here. It's coming. Okay, somewhere around. It's coming up soon. We're gonna play it now. I can do this with my eyes closed. It's too easy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh damn, I accidentally clicked off. You see how I got her looking at him? <laughs> I can do this with my eyes closed. <laughs> it's too easy. Chicken and potato. <laughs> so, so well. Pop your collar, Bree. Pop your collar. Because he, can, he can't even touch you. Ain't no way he can lie his way out of, i mean he he can gaslight his way out of but ain't no way he could uh say that you stole that idea from him ain't no way ain't no way you've executed it to perfect sean um also brie uh went so viral with all of this just it's just the d hackers didn't know here's brie again and uh and that brie also to this day sells the soul cake in her bakery and sells cupcake the soul cupcakes she has two versions now she has the regular chicken and the spicy chicken version makes sense that the person cr who created it is to, she not a grifter darius crook's the one pick up something to make a profit or a spectacle of it and then drops it and move on to the next thing because she can't sustain nothing Bree been making these since 2014 or so. 10 years. In another, you know, she makes tons of them. You're seeing them all over the place. This is she got ribs on it. <laughs> it's all on her Instagram. And this is Darius Crook's pitiful version with the uh, collard green spilling out the middle. Slag us. Uh, Sloppy, soggy. Who wants some cold uh, collard greens? Think about it. That's disgusting. 
and he couldn't even slice his. But again, he was trying to imitate her, put a slight spin on it so people wouldn't, I guess people wouldn't, I don't know what he was thinking, to be honest. She's a grifter. She don't care. That's disgusting. Ain't no way that tastes good. Never forget. Breeze played it version. Wow, this is one I was looking for. Bree went so viral that they created a meme about her. It says, I only date black guys level 1000 because uh, there's other people like Black Cherry out there who assumed that because I guess she looked like uh, Cousin Rashika Ray or something. I don't know what y'all be doing. I, I know Cousin Rashikas who look like that. <laughs> but because she didn't look like what they think a typical black woman should look like, they assumed she was white when they saw her with the soul food cake. So somebody created a meme like she's a black, a white woman trying to date a black man. And so she, you know, took went into overdrive of trying to make soul food. Brie is black. She has a black man. She got black brothers. <laughs> I think she said she got five brothers, a father, all that. I did beat that. Anyway, congratulations, Bree. Uh, great work. Glad I could do my part in just helping a few more people know the truth of what you have accomplished and the truth of uh, the fact that there's a predator out there, uh, uh, a scamming, a uh, fake internet cook uh, disguising himself, well, a scammer disguising himself as an internet cook uh, who's stealing from black women in particular. Black women in particular. It's very odd. Black women is his largest demographic, but they're also his largest group of prey. Got a, got a situation. Well, we I ain't gonna give it away, but we got we got a surprise coming. Either it's gonna be this week or next week. I think it's gonna be this week. I think I'm gonna go ahead and release it this week. She ain't the only one. She is not the only one. We're probably talking hundreds of black women who he's stolen from. And we ain't just talking about monetary. We're talking about still in their shine, still in their, their intellectual property. That belongs to Brie for the rest of us to have known that she was the creator. And there's nothing wrong with him making it, making that uh, monstrosity. I'm not saying that he should never have touched. Well, I am saying that if he had common sense, he would have stayed away from it. However, fine. But give credit where credit is due. When people start acting like it's your idea, say, oh, no, I was actually inspired by this celebrity break baker, Brie Miller, out of California. She has a soul cake. I did my spin on it. Uh, I, I effed it up by adding collard greens, uh, making it disgusting. Closing out this poll question. Did you once think that Darius Crooks invented the cornbread cake, a.k.a. the soul Cake, 21% of you actually did. 79% of y'all was like me. I didn't know, didn't care. <laughs> didn't know nothing about it, really. Right. Uh, Ash W says he won't get credit for any uh, for a thing. Right. Right. Speaking of not giving credit for a thing. So as I was putting today's uh, this stuff together, um, I ran into something else. Actually, I was working. I'm working on a bigger project. Yeah, I can't wait. It, it's a, it's a long. It's it's a it's gonna be a while. It's gonna be a while. But I'm working on a really big project. Project, and uh, this was a part of it. And I ran into this by happenstance. I was not looking for this. I didn't know this was a thing. Poll question I'm putting out here is: Do you think the Darius Crooks stole the watermelon chow chow dish, the watermelon chow chow that he talks about pouring on his oily? overly uh, salted uh, collard greens that he put in every goddamn thing. The collard greens he got to put in a, uh, in a cake even. Did you think that Darius Crooks uh, stole that? Have you ever questioned that? So for those of you who don't know, this is uh, Darius Crooks with his uh, watermelon chow chow making it in one of his reels. Watermelon diced red onion diced a little bit of sugar pinch of salt pinch of pepper apple cider vinegar and some olive oil and if you want a little bit of heat a little bit of red pepper flakes give that a stir and let that sit until we're ready to enjoy it watermelon chow chow let's season this 
a little bit of chicken bouillon, a little bit of onion powder, a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of Cajun seasoning, a little pinch of sugar, a little pinch of crushed red pepper, fresh cracked black pepper, and then we finish off with a little bit of olive oil for a really good smooth mouthfeel. Collard greens Ain't that a piece of plastic in there? Ain't that a piece of plastic? What is that? That translucent thing in there. What's that? What's that in the middle? I can't see it that well on my small screen. It's taking a while to get on my big screen. Why is there something plastic? That's something plastic, right? Is that something in that? <laughs> Help me, y'all. Oh, that's a bone? You sure? No, nah, that's a little too white for a bone. That look like plastic. No, nah, that ain't no bone. I know some of y'all, that's way too white. That is pure white. Bones are not pure white. That ain't no bone. Nah, that I know. That's not a bone. I don't know what the hell that is, but it's trash, right? <laughs> well, we're not talking about the greens themselves. Who said that? I, I missed the cop. It, it went too fast. <laughs> no, it is a piece of trash in it, though. But it and the greens are trash, probably too. Uh, anyway, moving on. Collard greens and smoked turkey. You top it with some of the watermelon chow chow. Look at her. She can't even make cornbread. Look how <laughs> look how flaky that is. <laughs> She's supposed to be a, 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 a well, you know, a cook, but she calls herself a, a chef. Look at that. Look at this. <laughs> Y'all, I cook probably every three to four months and my cornbread come out better than that. <laughs> I make cornbread maybe twice a year <laughs> and it come out better than that. <laughs> oh, one more time, y'all. One more time. This is crazy. With some of the and the fact that he not too shame to post it because <laughs> we didn't have to see this. <laughs> Watermelon chow chow. <laughs> now all you gotta do is bow your head and say grace grace and is he eating that out of a leftover to-go container <laughs> so i knew about the watermelon chow chow because we've talked about it over here i've made fun of it a multitude of times i've made fun of it so when i was on Bree's instagram uh perusing uh you know looking up the, the soul cake stuff trying to see its origins and trying to get the pieces that we got now, how did she come up with it what happened what how, 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 how? all of it i did run into a post from 2016 where she has this posted and i said ain't that what crooks say ain't that what crooks so he be making it or attempting to make. Then she has the recipe here. Recipe for what she calls, because you know he'll just change a name. <laughs> he'll make up a name. She's calling it a watermelon salad. And then she gives the whole ingredients of how she makes it and says she made it for her family for a cookout. Now, what I'm not saying is that she invented it. Because she didn't say that either here either. She did give the recipe and say, you should try it, etc. But I am saying that obviously this wasn't her making it from Darius Crook's version, because for one, this actually looks edible. <laughs> but from it being from 2016, and we now know that Darius Crooks hocked her soul cake. We know he is aware of her, clearly. We know he copies from her, clearly. Did he also get this from her? I don't know yet. I'm still, this is this is the beginning state. All I can say that I'm going to say for sure, he ain't come up with it. I don't know where Bree got it from, et cetera. Uh, that was Margin was saying in uh, um, Iran. Uh, uh, she said that they make a version of it, so it ain't new. So, um, 
Is this another recipe she stole? As in she? Darius Crooks? Here's Darius Crooks making it. And when I saw him make it, I said, oh, yeah, this girl, and she again, once again, she made the Timu version of somebody else's creation. We don't need that old. Look at all the goddamn sugar in there. Looks a fool. All that oil. Look at that. Oh, I was trying to mute it. Breeze version. <laughs> nice, clean, refreshing looking. Here's the sloppy, diabetic inducing version. Looks a fool. Shameful. It looks like an impression of this. <laughs> All I'm saying, we know she a hack. You can be a hack. Go on. Keep at it. But what's wrong with giving people they credit? But why she got to act like, yeah, I did. And yeah, I've had a lot of viral moments because, you know, I got a creative mind. You know, I got my uh, cornbread and collard green cake and then my watermelon chow chow I invented. Why you got to do that? That's sick. That's sick. Then you got the flying monkeys. D Haggers. Did I bring that in? I thought I know I brought that in. Hold on. Where is it? Here it is. Because this is my issue with it. Again, Scampa can make whatever she wants to make. I don't have a, I don't care about that. People make recipes all the time. It's the stealing of the identity of the creator is my problem because she has a platform where she then creates, recreates the narrative. And these, uh, ignoramuses suckerettes start to buy into it and they don't know no better first post watermelon chow chow to pair with the greens inspired by at darius crooks inspired by the person who stole it from somebody else that's my point so they think it's his next one because these two different uh Two different D-haggers. I did it at Darius Crooks, watermelon chow chow, and it's and it take and it take good <laughs> and it takes good. I'm sure once it marinates overnight, it's going to be amazing tomorrow. They giving Crooks credit for it and posting it online, sending out a fake narrative. Stealing again from whoever the original creator is. I'm not sure if it's Brie. It's probably not since this, you know, it was 2016. Again, she never said this was my original creation, but she did have the recipe. She tagged people in it and everything. So I don't know. So that's why I got to do some more work with that. Poll question. We just know it wasn't Darius Crooks because obviously that's the Timu version we're looking at, like everything else. A hack version. Poll question closing out. Do you think the Darius Crooks stole the watermelon chow chow dish? 91% of y'all say, yeah, of course she did. 9%? No, nah, he ain't steal it. Hey, D Haggers. Now we're going to move into the uh, second half of our show, which is going to be the bulk of the show. Uh, that is. Uh, did, oh, that was why I was running late getting getting on here. <laughs> like, wait a minute, I gotta pull it in. Uh, the video was still processing, um, so that's what took me uh, a minute to get on here. Let me. Hopefully, it's fine and ready. It looks like it processed properly. Uh, let's see. Uh, where's it located? This question. I know where it should be. Yeah, it's where it's supposed to be. Okay, good. All right, let's pull this video in. This is uh, Darius Crooks and Tommy's uh, first, well, I ain't going to say it's like first date night, but it's the first uh, 
date night where uh, Darius Crooks is cooked for Tommy. And next weekend, Tommy is supposed to cook for Darius Crooks. Now I ain't going to spend too much time commentating in the very beginning because uh, we got a lot to cover. So I want to just make sure we keep the show moving. Um, but for those of you who aren't aware of what's happening, uh, Darius Crooks um, is making on Sunday, our Sunday, made dinner for, no, our Saturday night, I think, made dinner for uh, Tommy, his business partner and brother, a guy he met in Bali while on vacation and within 48 hours had signed a 25-year business deal contract with the guy to open up a restaurant and hit and build a home in Bali, Indonesia. And uh, so they become fast friends, I guess. And um, so he has been trying to uh, educate Tommy on uh, black culture, et cetera. And um, this is their, this is their, their, their cooking dinner at, at home. They're bonding. And then uh, in the beginning, I speed up a little bit so you hear his voice change. And then I stopped doing that because it was taking too much time to edit. <laughs> but I chopped out a lot. Again, this was two, uh, two and a half hour uh, video that I chopped down to 40 something minutes. I know you guys have been waiting on me. And I've been a little dizzy with the pool and whatnot and whatnot and whatnot. So let's see if I can get you guys on now. Let me. So tonight's going to be a little different. Um, I'm not making a cocktail. And Tommy, my business partner, um, just went to grab some ketchup for me. I, I forgot ketchup for the meatloaf. Um, and so I figured I would make like some soul food. He's never had like authentic soul food ever, ever. Um, and so yesterday live, I made the, um, what did I make yesterday, child? The smothered chicken. Okay, wait a minute, this is not front and center. Okay, Instagram, do I need to move y'all? Let me move y'all this way, I'll tell you what, hold on. Instagram, they got an attitude. Instagram got an attitude. Yeah, please remember to hit that like button if you haven't already. Uh, we got 407 viewing uh, and 206, 236 likes. Please hit that like button. It is free to you, but uh, it, it's value, invaluable to myself and the growth of this platform. Uh, also, I spent literally all day editing this uh, to give y'all the Cliff Notes version, and it's good. <laughs> So please hit that like to show your appreciation. You know, a little something with the whistle. We're doing a little running coke situation, all right? Barely a little something, just a little, you know, a little something with the whistle. Uh, Bali 60 is the discount code while I'm live. Bali 60. So these cooking lives are disguised as uh, cooking tutorials where Darius Crooks is spending time with his followers, etc. But really what they are are long-form infomercials. Darius Crooks will advertise his cookware, his books, all of his uh, wares. Um, I only started at a certain point tracking how many times he promoted them. Uh, and I guess I was a quarter of the way in when I started and I got one, two, three. I was marking them uh, with the edit. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17. So over 20 times during this live stream, will you hear Darius Crooks advertise his wares and talk about the discount code? Now, usually he's creating drama as well, the drum up sales, but on a normal, he just comes here live. So these live streams are about clicks and views for his social media platforms because he earns revenue from that. And also... Uh, manipulating them into buying uh, the Alibaba uh, product lines that he has. They think it's because he liked them. <laughs> uh, Bali 60 is the discount code while I'm live. Bali 60. If there's anything you want from the online store, uh, Bali 60 is the code at checkout. I will remind you several times throughout today's live stream. Okay, we'll do a cute little rum and coke for the Holy Ghost. 
Thank you, Sock Snob, for the uh, cash app. And I'll check my phone to see. Oh, that's the other phone. Uh, I'll check my phone to see if there's anyone. Any uh, support on any level is greatly appreciated. Thank you in advance. How's that? <laughs> you said, they have liquor stores? Girl, I'm in Indonesia, girl, not some remote village in Africa, child. Yes, they got liquor stores, child. <laughs> Somebody earlier said, do they have malls? No, everybody knits their own clothes. <laughs> uh the watcher is saying what's going what's with the bobblehead effect um i don't know it to be officially true i don't know if darius crooks has officially announced it but i'm pretty sure he's on that old shot at this point because he's dropping weight rapidly but has not changed anything about what he's doing uh so it's starting to, to me look like he got that ozempic situation going on everybody here knits their own clothes they they start out at a young age learning how to knit from their grandmother and they sit on a rice field somewhere and put together two strings and call it an outfit. <laughs> good call. Whoever said make a cocktail, good call. If you need anything from my online store, you can go to Shop Dairy. <laughs> I'm just playing. No, I'm not playing though. ShopDariusCooks.com. Bali 60. Now he'll talk about other creators who mentioned, and not me, because I don't I don't do it like that, but um, but he's talked about other creators who've mentioned, you know, their cash apps and ways to support their platform. And he's like, I don't do none of that, acting like he's better than uh other influencers because he doesn't verbally say, you know, you can donate here on my cash app, my Zelle, my Venmo, blah, blah, blah. She's doing the same thing. It's the same coin, different side of the coin. She just happens to have a product to uh, to pedal versus just services and entertainment. But she she tries to make it like she's better than other influencers because she doesn't put up a cash app. Girl, you don't need to because you're peddling the T uh, the T Moo and Alibaba wares. While I'm live today, I got a corner of polenta left to make some shrimp and grits with. Okay. Every time you see a fade, that white fade, y'all, that's a cut. That's an edit. That means there's minutes or some pieces that I cut out for y'all. All that work. Please hit that like button to show your appreciation. Uh, it's a lot to edit. Tommy has never had shrimp and grits. Why did I buy all purpose flour? Because I found frozen peaches. Ladia is saying, Vail, what is he peddling? He's peddling his cookware. The the crock pots deal don't no <laughs> I just like saying that. But the crock pots, the pan, the skillets, the the knives, the cutting boards, the cookbooks, that's his product line. That's what he's peddling. He'll be mentioning them. Hello, goodbye. <laughs> I found frozen peaches. Friend, I don't know. No look. Ooh, friend, I don't know if that's a good idea. Y'all gotta go to work tomorrow or something, <laughs> or school or something. <laughs> Y'all gonna get wasted. If y'all take a drink, you can play the drinking game if you want. Drink responsibly, please. If, you, if you're driving after this, do not play the game. Be responsible. But y'all can play the drinking game if you feel like you want to get a little buzz, a little toast. I don't think I got nothing here to drink. Do I? No, nah, I took that bottle out. I wish I did now. <laughs> no, nah, that'd be too much. I already told y'all. It's about 20 some time. It's a lot. But if y'all want to play the game, feel free. Y'all grown. <laughs> you know what's going to happen, don't you? If there's anything you need from the online store, go to shopdariuscooks.com. The discount code. It's a, has somebody been counting? Because again, I only started. Somebody count. count um, I hope y'all kind of can remember what we throw the number up so far. How many times he's mentioned his discount code and that he's selling, and then we'll start counting from here. And y'all just keep putting the numbers. In the chat every time he says so some of y'all if y'all want to do the drinking game y'all gonna take a shot each time others yeah if y'all don't drink like that go on and just at least put the number in the chat every time he mentions it so we at three i think the consensus is that we about at three i think that's about right too we got a lot more to go and then y'all can let us know at the end how many it actually was don smart is saying five i don't think it was five though i think it's three three maybe four but i think three is bali 60 at checkout 
Let's mix this beat low, because this rum is talking to me. Okay? This rum is talking to me. I didn't do the church announcements or nothing. Let the foodie in me. Love the foodie in you. <laughs> I just have to leave this foolishness in for y'all to see her love bombing and indoctrination, all this uh, fake gospel cooking song thing and, you know, all that. I had for y'all, I wanted y'all to see that, but it gets good in a, in a few. Y'all told me to drink that coke and rum. It uncoked and rammed, rummed, okay? Y'all told me to love. I'm going to do a little skillet fried corn, too. Why not? We might as well. Okay, let's make some soul food. In Indonesia, we're gonna make macaroni and cheese too. With they stuff. Okay. Quit playing with me. Quit playing with me. Yes, I got on my swim trunks. Okay. I got on my swim trunks, that way when I get done with y'all, I can just take my shirt off and get right in the pool. You see what I'm saying? That's what you do out here. You relax. It's beautiful. I'm never coming home. No, I am. Give me a I'll be back. Okay. Okay, let's make a meat though. So you take a couple slices of white bread. They sell the bread here without the rind on it. What you call it? The uh the crust. Crustless bread. Shop DariusCooks.com. The discount code is the word Bali60 at checkout. Okay. It'll save you. Um It's going to save you 60% while I'm live, okay? We I told you. <laughs> we up to six already? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I had only stepped away for a minute. <laughs> okay, everybody has been asking, where is Tommy? Where is Tommy? Wait, what you get? I'm getting two of these. That's ketchup? Kitchen. They didn't have the Heinz or oh no, this oh, is Del Monte. Del Monte. Del Monte. This is the Indonesian one. This is the Indonesian. Come say hi to everybody who's online. Hey. Here is Tommy. Everybody's hey. been asking. Everybody's been asking. What up, y'all? What up? Where Tommy <laughs> is? This is my business partner, I'm here. Tommy Ford. Mm -hmm. He is 100% Indonesian. Damn right. <laughs> and, and when I first met him. I thought he was black, but the more I talk to him, the more I realize he not black. Do y'all think I'm black though? <laughs> he knows a lot. He knows a lot about black culture. When you hear him talk, right? Like, um, let me see. Let me ask you a question. Oh, the other count we need to do. Okay, I'm, I ain't trying to complicate this for y'all. Maybe we have a different group doing. If you if you can't multitask, I understand. But we need a group of y'all to keep track of how many times he mentions being black or black folks or black culture, Darius Crooks. How many times? So we keeping track of how many times he advertises his Alibaba cookware and the 60% discount, Vale 60. And the other count we want to do is how many times this Negro talk about black folks being black, Tommy ain't black, Tommy. Actually, it'd be good if we had a third group who kept track of how many times the Darius Crooks gonna say that Tommy ain't never had soul food, or he ain't had mac and cheese, or he ain't had this, or he ain't had that. Three groups, three counts. The, the, the discount code, him selling his stuff, mentioning black people, black culture, and how many times he gonna mention uh, Tommy's lack of experience with soul food. Please keep those counts. Thank you, uh, Marlena B. We got three groups. Now, if you feel like you can do both, you got a pen and paper near you, have at it. But keep the counts accurate, please. And then we're going <laughs> we to talk about them at the end. Okay, Tommy, tell us what's... This is game night. Usually I have game night on Patreon. We're going to do game night over here for the first time ever. <laughs>
I don't know. I got no prize for y'all, but. So special about your cooking class? Like my cooking class, yeah. You're going to learn 12 Balinese authentic foods for just $40. Not even $40, $30. $30. And people love it. People come from all over the world come to come. All over the world. Where do they come from? They come from Albania. They come from Romania. They come from the USA. We got, we work with agents too. Discover agents that's well known in the world. And a lot of them are Australian. So we got a lot of Australian people as well. Uh, Mitch Langford, uh, Mitch, uh, Mish, uh, Langford is saying, this is so cringe. Friend, you ain't seen nothing yet. You ain't seen nothing yet. I was getting nauseous. I was like, oh, my God, the things I do for my people. <laughs> because editing this was atrocious, horrendous. My, I literally was shaking my head and having to step away. Like, this, some, this is crazy. Every day. So, okay, let's make sure people understand. Mm -hmm. You were trained mm -hmm. by a black chef from Alabama. From Alabama. Okay, where at? In Bali. You were in Bali, but where, in Bali. Where, what was the name of the hotel? The name of the hotel is uh, Anika Guest House. Okay. Yeah. So he came, what did he show you about like black food, soul food, anything? Like soul food, soul food, like he was cooking some chicken, some chicken, some fried chicken. Fried chicken. Some fried chicken, the one that's easy to get. What about macaroni and cheese? Mac and cheese. We got mac and cheese too here. Okay. And you don't have collard greens. You don't know what collard greens? No. Green. I don't know. So you don't know collard greens. You don't know turnip greens. No. Candy yams. You don't know. No. Meatloaf and mashed potato. I hope y'all counting. <laughs> Get to counting. Uh, exquisitely fine is saying, oh my God, Tommy talks like a scammer. I've been trying to put my finger on it, y'all. I'm trying to like figure this out. Who Who's... Uh, what's the song? What's it was that Aretha Franklin? Who's zooming? Who's zooming? Who? <laughs> who's scamming? Who? I'm still trying to, cause we get into some stuff. We get into some stuff, but things ain't adding up. Cause he say that Tommy ain't never had soul food. Then Tommy say he trained by a guy from Alabama who cooked soul food. Then he asked Tommy what he had, what the guy made. Tommy's got to kind of wonder. That's fine, maybe, because, you know, if that's not your original um, food of or origin, uh, I can get that. But then he says fried chicken. That's easy. Then he says mac and cheese. But the interesting part is Darius Crooks is supposedly cooking mac and cheese because Tommy ain't never had it before. It ain't making sense. Things ain't adding up, y'all. And I'm trying to be like, okay, Tommy seemed like he ain't the scammer in this, but I can't tell. He really good if he is. A lot of them don't know. He don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right. So I'm making chicken meatloaf right now. Right. Okay. So he said to me, he said, he's a chef. Mm. So he says, I want to learn. So can I watch you when you make it? And I said, absolutely. Cornbread. His first time having real cornbread was like yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yesterday. 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 So yesterday he had cornbread. I didn't have honey butter. I used brown sugar butter on top. He had cornbread. He had green beans with white potato. Mm. And he had smothered chicken. Oh my God. What are your thoughts on... That is... That is so good, guys. Like, I'm not expecting the flavor to be like... Wow, it's just melting your mouth, it's sweet. And you know, the the you know, the the cornbread was fluffy on the inside mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you know, crust have that crust on the inside. Yes, so, sir. So that is like perfect. Yeah, so I I pride myself on being one of the best soul food cooks out yes. there. Crazy good, guys, crazy good. And I was nervous that Tommy was not going to like. Yeah. I think everybody in Indonesia are gonna love uh, soul food. Like soul food that Mr. Darius cooked. <laughs> I was nervous. Because I said, do me a favor. You see the thing, it's flashing again? Yeah. Cut it off for me. The, mic, the um, remote is on the table, I think. All right, I told y'all, he sounds like he is 
not from here. You know what I'm saying? He sound black as shit when he talk. But the more I talk to him, the more I realize, like, okay, I got it. You, you right. You not from here. What is his fascination with a guy being from a different culture, being able to emulate black culture, like, which is normal in uh, Asian company countries anyway. Like, I'm so <laughs> baffled by the fact, like, and you hear it constantly. Like, this ain't even the first time we're hearing this. It's in every single live stream he's done where he references Tommy. And it's, it's very cringy. It's like, what is happening here? I'm going to I'm going to start sweating, okay? Oh, I forgot. The poll question I just put out was uh do you hold on. I forgot what I said. Do you think that Tommy is a scammer? Does it look like to you that Tommy is the scammer in this situation? I'm I'm still the jury's out for me a little bit still cuz I haven't found concrete evidence. Maybe I'm just I'm one of those people. That's how Darius Chris got me too cuz I I used to be very naive and very um I didn't trust my gut. My gut telling me something ain't right here. But part of me is like, but he seemed like a cool dude. He seemed like he da da da. But then I keep finding issues. <laughs> and we're going to get into one in a minute. It's coming up real soon. I can't wait for y'all to see this. Y'all going to crack that F up. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for y'all to see it. We've cut the air off so that we could do the pool. Well, I can do the pool. Their cel this is their celery. I know it does not look like celery. Oh, don't forget, anything you need from our online store, you can go to shopdariuscooks.com. The discount code is the word BALI60 at checkout. These wines... Thank you so much, uh, Yolanda Tam Thomas. Yeah, y'all can do that. That'll help me um, keep track better because I, I do honestly forget to be looking at these phones and these five screens around me and reading the chat. Uh, so yeah, if you're sending anything to me via Zelle or Venmo or Cash App, first of all, thank you in advance. But also, you can let me know in the chat by just typing like Yolanda has and uh, Socks Knob. Just letting me know that you did it. I appreciate that. Y'all helping me out. I love y'all. Glasses. ShopDariusCooks.com. I'm using the Darius Cooks Everyday uh, Chef Knife. ShopDariusCooks.com. All right. I'm using my own products cookbooks, cutting board, you name it. Everyday skillet, you can get it at shopdariuscooks.com, okay? Right. Thank you, lot of your friend, for your cash app. All right, let me rinse this off. Okay. Darius, someone is fighting with Breon. Oh, Lord. Hold on. Hold on one second. Instagram is having the most... Instagram seem to be having the most problems on Instagram. Let me give Felicia the, um, the button, and Felicia can decide what needs to happen on Instagram, okay? Since y'all want to argue. All right. You're getting ahead of us, GR, but I'm with you 100%. I, I was looking at the goddamn screen like, are you effing kidding me? You don't have the right to give permission permission to people for that, but we're going to get to it. I ain't going to get ahead of the show. Sweeter garlic. So they have this thing called sunrise garlic. This is the one I showed you yesterday where it's like different than our garlic. I'll show you what I mean. They have our garlic too. Mm. You know what he said? He said, we cook your food too, guys. <laughs> so we have your stuff. We cook. What's the question, my, my, Maddie's mama? You said, I have a question. <laughs> Friend, you got to type that question in the same comment because I may miss it by the time your question come up because I, I do miss a lot. It's hard to see all because we have thousands of uh, comments through each uh, live. So I miss quite a bit. But uh, yeah, put it put everything all in one uh, when you do it. Your food as well. Y'all got me in here. Which is rum. Normally, I don't. I don't drink. I mean, normally I drink, but then Tommy does not drink. That ain't gonna work, man. It's coming, y'all. It's coming. So this week, <laughs> oh, I can't wait for y'all to see this moment. This weekend, 
I went down a rabbit hole. I really was hoping to get ahead, and here, here, here I was, <laughs> still late for the show, working up to the to the minute. But y'all, the rabbit hole I went down because tomorrow we'll do. Tonight was supposed to also be me introducing y'all to Tommy and showing what I found. <laughs> Thankfully, I did that over the weekend. So when I got to watching this, I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> this don't match up with all the ish I saw. So tomorrow episode, I just couldn't fit it all in today. Tomorrow episode, wait, tomorrow? Yeah, one of these days I got to take, one of these evenings I got to take off. I forgot which one. I think tomorrow I'm good though. Tomorrow's episode, or the, I'll just say the next episode, we going to get into who is Tommy? Who is Tommy? But for now, we got a little teaser. Remember, Darius Cripps just said out of his own mouth, mouth, that Tommy, oh shoot, I went too far. Ouch. Tommy don't drink. Oh, I messed that up. Tommy don't drink. And Felicia can decide what needs to happen on Instagram, okay? Since y'all want to argue. All right, sweeter garlic. So they have this thing called sunrise garlic. This is the one I showed you yesterday where it's like different than our garlic. I'll show you what I mean. They have our garlic too. You know what he said? He said, we cook your food too, guys. <laughs> so we have your stuff. We cook your food as well. Y'all got me in here with this rum. Normally, I don't, I don't drink. I mean, normally I drink, but the thing, Tommy does not drink. That ain't gonna work, man. Remember, Tommy does not drink. Tommy does not drink, okay? He told me yesterday he doesn't. <laughs> We're at the barn, baby. We're watching football game. Liverpool versus Manchester City. The barn cheeseburger. That's probably my favorite. And a sip of cocktail, which is You don't even taste it. I'm dropping a lot, man. I don't even. It's in I'm these kids. Dropping that much. I'm sorry, y'all. I worked too goddamn hard on these edits. I got to show y'all that part again. <laughs> you know what he said? He said, we cook your food too, guys. <laughs> so we have your stuff. We cook your food as well. Y'all got me in here with this rum. Normally, I don't, I don't drink. I mean, normally I drink, but then Tommy does not drink. That ain't gonna work, man. Tommy does not drink, okay? He told me yesterday he doesn't. We're at the barn, baby. We're watching football game. Liverpool versus Manchester City. The barn cheeseburger. That's probably my favorite. And a sip of cocktail, which is... <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> What's that in his hand? What's that going down his throat? <laughs> This on Tommy's Instagram, y'all. <laughs> I ain't done. Y'all know when I come, I come hard. Tommy don't drink, though. Here's another lie. Bali ain't got no realtor. Bali ain't got no yams. Bali ain't got no permits. Bali ain't got no... <laughs> and Tommy don't drink. <laughs> oh, wait till y'all see what else we got here. <laughs> I need to quit interrupting, but it's, I'm so giddy over it. <laughs> You don't even taste it. I'm, I'm dropping a lot, man. I don't even. It's in these better than I'm dropping that much. Y'all about to witness disaster because I actually asked the permission of our tender. I'm actually learning how to make a proper meal. Tommy is behind the bar now making drinks. <laughs> Latte, art, and um, here it is. My. Uh, terrible looking art over here some people gonna say that's just a latte that's not a drink well let's not forget he was just having an alcoholic beverage clearly but we ain't done and i need to learn a lot more i actually need to learn a lot more it looks really nice like look at that <laughs> no nah. no nah, it looks i think he's narrating and his wife is in the background uh i think that's his wife speaking Shitty. Let's. That's another drink. 
<laughs> for somebody who don't drink, <laughs> he's over drinking a lot. That Negro got behind the bar. <laughs> He don't even look like a person who's disgusted with the alcohol saying like, oh, oh, my God, I'm like, oh, it's burning my throat. Uh, I got friends like that. Oh, it's getting to my head. He ain't giving none of that. <laughs> he like, oh, this smooth. <laughs> we ain't done. Oh, we ain't done. Y'all know how I do. It was a fun night because I also. He went back behind the bar. This is another drink he's making behind the bar. I think this is the third drink that he was making behind the bar. They obviously got different rules in, in, in Bali where, well, but you know, Tom, Tommy's smooth. He's a finesser. And this is showing you that. How the hell he a customer and, and able to convince the bartenders to let him behind the bar? I don't care what country you in. That says a lot about his finesse. This had me saying, oh, okay, I see. I see you, Tommy. I see you, Tommy. Made espresso martini. I love this drink. Does he look like a novice? <laughs> I drink uh, like I drink socially. I can't do that. <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> I'm horrible at making my own drinks. <laughs> Tommy's not a drinker, but this dude back there, <laughs> he got the, he got the mannerisms of a bartender. He on his third drink. <laughs> No sky vodka, sixty mil of that, and we got coffee liquor. We got sugar syrup, ten mil. We got also. He said the amounts. He got, he know the different types. <laughs> he know the syrups. <laughs> so coffee, hey, twenty mil is enough for the coffee, hey. And all that, so shake it, man. You know, chill the glass. Don't forget to chill the glass. And also, put the ice. So let's set up a lot of water. He's instructing whoever's on the other side of the camera. He telling them how you do it. <laughs> he know to chill the glass. Don't want it to go dilute, so. We clean shake it, clean shake it, clean shake it, clean shake it. <laughs> yeah, I should go harder. If you gotta shake a drink, make sure the whole body moves. Make sure you drop the ice because it's already cool. He knew to chill the glass, to dump the ice out. <laughs> But he don't, he don't drink. Double strain. Don't forget a double strain. Leave a window and garnish. Voila. Right hair journey. Hair journey said, too professional for me. <laughs> oh, I can't keep on y'all comments. <laughs> I can't wait to watch this back and see what y'all was saying. <laughs> <laughs> Whole different. I'm sorry, I gotta go. We we watching that whole thing over, but I I still just I need this. I need this just because this was a lot. This was a torturous edit. <laughs> here it is. Here it is. Yeah. Um. Normally, I don't. I don't drink. I mean, normally I drink, but then Tommy does not drink. That ain't gonna work, man. Tommy does not drink. Okay, he told me yesterday he doesn't. <laughs> I thought about that in the moment. The family feud buzzer, like, <laughs> egg, wrong answer. <laughs> what? <laughs> Tommy, your whole pro bartender. <laughs> and had three drinks on this camera. I mean, on In that reel. That was one night. Voila. On La Mosca, Philosophy of Three. Right, who is that? Oh my God, y'all, y'all got these comments flying. I can't even keep up. <laughs> Wait, I saw one. Oh my God, I can't find it. Uh, some. Oh my God, I forgot what you were saying. Jesus. Oh, I forgot what somebody. Oh God, no, I missed it. Somebody was saying something. I wanted to. 
Oh, forget it. <laughs> Y'all going too fast. Drink with the flow. One more scotch. Express the ball. But me, on the other hand, I don't mind taking a sip of two. Whole different ball game. All right. Did y'all just hear Tommy in the background? I don't mind taking a sip or two. <laughs> I thought you told that man you don't. Now I don't know if Darius Crooks is gaslighting the audience and made that up, or if Tommy legitimately said he don't drink. Either way, one of them a liar <laughs> and a big one, a huge liar. Oh, that's what somebody was saying. I don't know who, uh, everything going so fast, y'all. So you know who you are. But somebody was saying that, um, oh my God, my brain. It's too much happening at once. <laughs> oh my God, my brain. I just left the thought. It'll come back. If there's anything you need from the online, isn't this beautiful tonight? I know. This is now, uh, Darius Crooks ended up making Tommy a drink. The person who does not drink. Uh, he just made him a drink. So different from what we normally used to do. I figured you would like this. If there's anything you need from the online store, you can go to shop Darius. Now, uh, 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 that's a count, y'all. Y'all keeping these counts. I ain't seen no number in a minute. Uh, this is him promoting again. Why is he leaning over the ground chicken that he just mixed? He has his whole body leaning over it and that old rustic scam pop beard hanging right over. And y'all know we've seen the flakes on his T-shirts and stuff. I don't know. I don't really show that stuff as much over here. But all on, on the, the, the in the Twitters and the Exposed group, they had the pictures uh, showing the, the, the crust and danger from his beard all on his shirt. And he, ha he leaning over that food. Who does that? Closing out this poll question. Do you think that Tommy is a scammer? 88% of you say yes. 12% of y'all say no. I'm going to have to go with the majority. I'm still trying. Yeah, Y'all know I like receipts. I want to see some solid proof. Again, somebody lied about this no drinking thing. Darius Crooks has been known to create narratives and gaslight. So I can't say that he didn't lie about Tommy ever saying that to him. Because Darius moves like that. And his... He's done that with his staff and they they would just go with it because he's money is attached to it. Their livelihood. So they like, I don't know why he lying to them, but they just go with it. So I don't know if it's one of those situations or what. I just don't know. But wow. When I when I heard Darius Cook say that, knowing I had just spent time combing through the Instagram of Tommy and saw plenty of, uh, of, of reels of him hanging out and drinking and playing pool and doing stuff. Mainly drinking and, and um, making drinks behind the bar. <laughs> I'm like, what? Wait, what? Cooks.com. The discount code is the word BALI60 uh, at checkout. That's going to save you 60% while I'm live. Okay. All right. This is a chicken meatloaf. Now be prepared. I guess I could mute down. I, I don't think he's saying that. Be prepared that if this does fall apart before it fully gets going, we going to get blamed for it. It's going to be my fault for scaring Tommy away or something crazy. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Just be prepared. Because we point out all kind of obvious stuff. There, I think that's what I was going to say. Something maybe about Darius Crooks. I didn't do no deep dive. I didn't do no background check on Tommy. I went to his Instagram page that everybody else got access to and saw it for myself. They probably going to try to block me now, but I was using my burner, so good luck with that. <laughs> I'm a blogger. I know better than use my actual account. He ain't even research him. If he could say... Tommy don't drink, but then there's footage, and that was recent. That was, I think, late last year or something. There's footage of Tommy drinking and making drinks behind the bar. Okay. Before? Never heard You've of that. never even heard of Peach Cobbler. <laughs> Tommy, Peach Cobbler is the quintessential what? Black, per black person's dessert. Let me refill my drink. Let me get Tommy a drink too. Hold on, y'all. Quintessential. 
black dessert. It's a, listen, peach cobbler, banana pudding, and red velvet cake. We're up to 11. Uh, Marianne says we're up to 11 with the um, the the shopping promo. What how what about the uh, the black folks do this and the black folks don't do this and all that? What about that one? Peach cobbler, banana pudding, and red velvet cake are the black the black desserts. Let me grab glass. Thank you for this reminder, Explore, because I got a poll related to this. Because I'm like, she making a lot of generalizations. Uh, about black folks. And I, I hate that she's the example. I hope Tommy's smarter than this. And he probably is. He probably like this girl acting like she know everything about black folks. And I already know stuff because I got black friends. I just ain't told her about <laughs> or something because she acts like she has like there's a handbook on being black and she she helped write it or something. I'm like, this is ridiculous. And she be just saying the most um, ridiculous, stereotypical stuff. I It's it's horrible that she is the representative in her mind and that probably Tommy's maybe she's a representative of black people. Like I'm seeing y'all, y'all saying this ish. I know I'm seeing Jessica um, saying, I don't like red velvet. Uh, and Explore just said he don't like peach cobbler. That's my whole point. <laughs> this is what I'm like, as I'm listening to Darius Chris, I'm like, I know people who don't like those things. And I don't see them at all my um, family events and on Sunday dinners. What are you She's sitting there making up fairy, fairy tales and fallacies like she did in that old um, Lies from My Grandmother's Kitchen cookbook. She, she misguided Tommy. From scratch. Oh, and pound cake. Oh, I know. Oh, a good vanilla pound cake. We ain't, he ain't ready for that yet. Let's, let's take him slow. Okay, let's take him slow. I will tell you though, they got some food here that will rival our soul food. That Nasi Goreng and that Mie Goreng, that shit is, a, is amazing. Oh, thank you. That Nasi Goreng and that uh, Mie Goreng is quite. Right, hair care journey. He put liquor in everything liquor and sugar and salt. <laughs> This is their tropical rum. It's good. It's actually real good. Thank you. I like the rum and coke. Yeah. This is that that tropical rum you told me to buy. You said this is our local rum. Oh yeah. How Tommy don't drink, but now Tommy's saying he'll he'll take a, a, a swig or two. Then Tommy then also informed him of what he should buy at the liquor store. The math ain't mathing. <laughs> Why is it that the math don't never math with none of these Bali lie stories? This this Bali location he's on. None of the stories, none of it adds up. Tommy saying he was under the tutelage of a, a Southern American black chef but don't know what nothing is but fried chicken. Said he tasted mac and cheese or had it, but then Darius Crooks repeatedly says he's never had it. He don't know what candy yams is. He don't know what cornbread is. He don't know what biscuits are. Something ain't right. The math ain't mathing. Or is it that Darius Crooks is just creating these narratives? I don't understand. I don't know. was like, I gotta get it. So I was like, okay, I got it. For you, Ooh, sir. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. This glass is great. <laughs> we better get this glass right away. Right. <laughs> yeah. um, cheers. cheers. See, Tommy in on it too. He know uh, we gotta get these people to buy these products. He he getting in on the commercials too. Yes, sir. Mm. <laughs> All right. Let's do that. Let's put the, I found frozen peaches, y'all. Frozen. Uh, I did not find fresh. Do y'all have fresh peaches? No. Peaches are like a, that's like an American thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Peaches are an American thing. Y'all have, you never, have you had peaches before? Yep. You've had them. And yogurt. 
You had it in yogurt, peach it in yogurt, but like a, a peach, just a fruit peach. No. Never had a fruit peach. Okay. They do have it. They, I think peaches are like, kind of like strawberry type thingy. It's a cold weather stuff. So. It's a cold weather. Yeah. So they probably grow it somewhere cold in Indonesia and they make it frozen. So you hear that? Peaches are not a thing here. How is he saying, how did he get peaches ain't a thing there from Tommy saying he doesn't eat them and he, you know, they come frozen, et cetera, et cetera. It sounds like something Tommy doesn't eat, not necessarily, and, and you got frozen ones there. So likely the fresh ones are somewhere around. Tommy just might not be aware. But there is, and this is the thing, she giving out a lot of, fun. I didn't bother looking up the, um, the peaches. I just didn't bother. <laughs> I'm tired of Googling to, to confirm what my common sense <laughs> that if they have frozen peaches there, most likely there are fresh peaches somewhere around there. All right. Peaches are not a thing. Peaches are not a thing. How the hell you buy frozen peaches there then? But they got fresh. They got fresh peaches. You got fresh peaches. I'm all in. I mean, frozen peaches. I'm all in. Okay. He just don't know that this is like black people. We love this. I was trying to, like, I'm trying to hip him to something else, us black, you know, because we're all monolithic, uh, uh, us black folks. We all do the same thing. We all like the same stuff. We all talk the same way. We all listen to only the same kind of music. We all think, uh, think alike. You know, us black folk, we all share one brain. What the fuck? <laughs> it's insulting to us as black people. What is wrong with her? What is wrong with her taking that misinformation over to another country? And I pray to God this that Tommy know or get to know other black people to learn that this girl is misguiding her. We are not a stereotype. That's not pro-black, the what his behavior over there. It's showing he really how he thinks of black people. And that's why he goes to black restaurants and slanders them without a second thought. And treats us all, all black owned restaurants like they're less than everything else. Horrible. She's doing the same self hating ass shit over there that she was doing over here. Just look different, same coin, different side. Black people, we all do that. And black people, oh, you, black people ain't gonna do that. Black people don't like try stuff. Black people, this to that. Girl, what is wrong with you? The things that like a lot of black people really enjoy, right? Not just food, but like. <laughs> My God, I'm getting irritated. <laughs> Cause y'all see, I had to edit this. So I already heard all this, but now it's even more irritating. Cause I'm not in work mode. You know, all black people this and all black people this. What? Also music. So like I played for him, um, um, Frankie Beverly and Mays before I let you go, right? And I was like, sir, if this song comes on, I don't care where it comes on at, everybody stops what they're doing to get down with the get down, okay? <laughs> um, before I let you go, all right? I also played for him um, Shaka Khan, but it was I'm Every Woman, which he doesn't know I'm Every Woman. He says, I know through the fire, but I don't know I'm Every Woman, and I'm gagging that how do you know through the fire, which is less popular than I'm every woman, but hey, it is what it is, okay? If there's anything you need from my online store, you can go to shopdariuscooks.com. The discount code is the word Bali60. Bali60 at checkout. And what number are we up to now with the promo? And I, I missed somebody had said how many, what number we were on with the black conversation. The black, uh, what black people do. And I forgot what the other one was. What was the third one? <laughs> I should have wrote it down. Oops. I mean, since he's here. He's not always here. He, he has a job, okay? Um, and his main job is he runs a, two things. He runs a cooking school in Bali. And he owns a uh, glass company where he takes... Thank you, Anthony Lester. Anthony Lester says, I Googled and it says peaches grow in Bali. I mean, it, it, part of it is a little common sense. Like I said, that's why I didn't even bother Googling it early. I was like, I ain't even bother. 
common sense is like, okay, you were able to get the frozen one, frozen ones. It sounds like something that Tommy doesn't uh, eat. Tommy is not the expert on Bali. <laughs> I am not the expert on America. There's a lot of stuff I can't tell you about it. I am not the expert on black folks. And I grew up with them, love them, been with them. All. I am not the expert. I can't tell you everything about blackness. I know a hell of a lot, but I can't tell you everything. And I'm smart enough to let you know. Well, I don't know about that. Or well, for some people, this works, and some people it don't. This girl, everything. We just we just walk in a monolithic group. It's ridiculous. Garbage from that's a narcissism, though. Don't y'all see it? Don't y'all see the mental illness? The beach recycles it and turns it into glass. It's called CG recycle. Correct. Hey, I got you, bro. I got you. I got you, bro. I got you, man. I got you. I got you. I got you. So if you have I will say what I get from Tommy is is poser in the sense of and Darius Crooks is not helping the situation because I can tell that Tommy, when he starts to interact with the audience, he puts on that that the hip hop thing like he thinks that that's all that that all of, all of us black people relate to that. And so it's like it's misguiding him. And to me, that's a poser because, uh, again, I've looked at um his his Instagram. And yes, he was listening to rap music in his car, heading to the to the bar. We saw him bartending. At. <laughs> he was in the car listening to rap music and stuff. But you could tell his friends and his family when he was out to dinner with people and stuff. That's not their vibe. And so he he cold switches. Even the car that he was in the car with his friend listening to rap music. But you could tell his friend wasn't on that level. His friend knew the rap music, but his friend was very much Indonesian. <laughs> very much. Tommy has learned how to code switch. Where and how and why, that has yet to be answered. But we're going to find out. Time will tell. You can throw the questions. I'm live on five platforms, so it's going to be hard to catch all the questions. But I'll do what I can. Um, and if I miss some of the questions, just, you know, re-ask them again or whatever the case may be. Okay. Um, the best thing is Instagram has the questions queue, which is great. Tommy, how many cooking classes do you teach per day? How many attendants per class? So per day, two maximum and attendance on average. 30 to 60 people. 30 to 60 people on average. And you will hear his English goes in between American, UK, and Australian. Yeah. Okay? His English varies, <laughs> it varies depending upon who he's talking to because of his influences and like how he. His language, this girl ain't even noticing what she's saying. This should be a red flag. He telling you that he noticed. That Tommy's language depend changes depending on who he talking to. That's a finesser. That's a poser. That's a scam move. I'm going to connect to you. I'm going to relate to you. I'm going to make you feel comfortable and identify with you. And if that means changing my intonation, my lingo, my verbiage, my dialect, whatever it takes to make you feel like we're close, just like he said. Man, when I met Tommy, I thought he was black. I was like, I thought he was from America. That's because that's what he wanted you to think, Crooks. How slow are you, girl? Wake up. Darius, you in danger, girl. <laughs> he learned um, English. I got a question. What is your biggest... I want to know your biggest excitement about our partnership mm. and your biggest fear about our partnership. All right. Ooh, that's a big question. I sir. know. I know. It's a big question. So, and I will tell you, one of the things that we deal with around here is transparency. Yes. Sir. Like we talked about yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. So we don't hide things. Mm -hmm. We keep things on the up and up, things like that. We don't have things like saying we don't drink when we actually know how to make drinks like a bartender <laughs> and was just out with our friends drinking. 
So right, uh, Jazzy, uh, Jazzy saying this gonna be good. <laughs> right. What's your biggest excitement, and what's your biggest fear? My biggest excitement is that I gotta live my dream mm -hmm. come true. Because you'll be the silent investor, and uh, you know we can run things. And I believe we can do that. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we we gonna make. The, the excitement part is we're gonna make hip hop soul the livingest bar and restaurant to come in in Bali, the hottest spot in Bali. All right, that's the excitement. Part. So hip hop soul will be the hottest spot, and and you get to live your dream. And I can live my dream, which is opening my cooking class. Yes, 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 yes. yes. So what you yeah. don't know is the way I met Tommy is through his cooking class, right? But. That's just kind of like the start of it. Um, we de He knows restaurants, delves off into restaurants. He's helped tons of restaurants open here in Bali. So now he gets a chance to open up his own restaurant where we'll be partnering to make that happen. Um, uh, but I think the big thing is like, you know, it's just like it's new uncharted territory. So. I think we're excited about the possibilities that come. And this guy, you don't know this, he's playing, downplaying it. He is the culinary mayor of Bali. Okay? All right, biggest fear. Biggest fear. Mm. To penetrate hip-hop, like, culture that, that is not that famous yet in Indonesia, mm -hmm. and to bring soul food, like real authentic soul food taste in Bali. Nobody's ever done that before, and we're gonna be the first one that does it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's gonna be exciting. <laughs> there you have it. So, <laughs> nobody's ever done it. And Neither one of these fools got a fear of committing to a 25-year deal with a stranger. 25 year business deal. They planning multiple businesses, restaurants, cooking schools. Then they start talking about a, a, a barbecue joint too. Y'all just met. Darius Crooks couldn't even successfully run a business with two friends he had known for over a decade. How the hell he gonna make this work with a person he just met not even 60 days ago? Foolishness. And Tommy's fears ain't <laughs> matching up. Oh, I'm just worried about if the Indonesian uh, uh, people will really accept hip hop and blah, blah, blah. No, it should be if this man is real, if he's a scammer, getting to know each other. What he going to be like when, when business really start to happen? This is when I started to say, oh, yeah, I see. I see. It, it's not going to work. Things are going to go awry. I guarantee it because of who Darius Crooks is. I don't, I still, again, don't fully know what Tommy's up to, but I know how Darius Crooks operates. And there's a piece that I, I'll, I'll expound on coming up. And it's going to be exciting for us to do it. It's an untouchable market. So that could be our very unique selling point. I yeah. So nobody has done so food in Bali. Nobody. Not just in Bali, sir, in Indonesia. In Indonesia, in Indonesia, no soul food, no authentic black soul food nope. exists. In this 18,000 islands, we're the largest archipelago on the planet. Nobody <laughs> does this. Nobody, <laughs> Nobody. has done it. Y'all heard what he said, right? Okay. Heavy cream to get it to its desired consistency, okay? All right, let me wash my hands off. AR is saying, oh, I took it down. AR is saying, so tell me again how he's going to open this restaurant with Soul Food Classics and they don't have the ingredients you need. His importing fees are going to be crazy. He's actually planning to adapt uh, his menu, just like he's doing for uh, Tommy in this in this particular video. He's actually adapting the, um, the recipes so that he can work with uh, those things that are uh, already in Bali. Actually, there was some other somebody was asking, uh, I, wait, I thought Tommy was the driver. Um, I got to start quite a few.
Okay, I'll just go through the questions. Let me let, let me clear some of them up anyway. Um, Unique Organics is saying what he should have done was uh, make that a few times before uploading the video. Oh, that was um, uh, the, the soul cake, <laughs> the cornbread and collard green cake. Yeah, he don't care about uh, that type of stuff. Uh, Jane Doe is saying it's a long con for um, for Tommy. I I'm starting to feel that as well. I'm starting to feel that as well. Uh, he hustling too, child. <laughs> this man right here is not thinking about building no restaurant. I'll put bread on that. So Ladia is saying she doesn't think that um, Tommy is planning to build this restaurant at all. I don't know, y'all. The jury's still out for me. I, I still cannot. I mean, I can make assumptions, but, you know, I like to operate in facts, especially because I got the platform. So I'm still the jury's still out for me with what's happening. I just know it's not going to be the dream that Darius Crooks thinks it's going to be that I know. But I don't know what what's going to fall apart or where or how. Uh, Bree uh, Crutch is saying he may have roots in Indo, uh, but that mofo um, is American. <laughs> I don't know. He claims that he, well, again, because he also obviously said he didn't drink and we got evidence that he did um, or does. And he asked for a drink. Uh, second, I edited this, so it might have seemed like longer to you, but it was literally right after Darius Crook said uh, to the audience, that Tommy doesn't drink. Tommy was like, um, I'll have a drink or two. <laughs> I'll have a sip or two. <laughs> Quickly, he said that. So, yeah, things ain't adding up. I I, I don't know. Marlena S. is saying, uh, wait, he cooks? I th Oh, this is what I was looking for. Uh, wait, he cooks? I thought Tommy was the driver. I'm so confused. I know. This is, this is why we do it the way we do it. And I don't mind re uh, repeating these things. Everybody not seeing everything. Tommy was is a, a cook at the school, the cooking school, like Darius Crooks says. Darius Crooks, uh, what's his name? Kend his friend Kendria signed them up for a cooking class when they went to Bali uh, for a vacation. This is all about happenstance. So Kendria booked the class. They go to the class, and Kendria booked it for everybody. They went to the class. Uh, and then there was a field trip connected to the class to go to the local markets for, you know. Uh, those um, ingredients that are uh, are local. While they're getting ready to take to do the field trip, all the people load up in the van or whatever vehicles they were in, and Darius Crooks and his crew ended up not uh, not being able to fit. So they got in the car with Tommy, who is the instructor, and he drove them to you know whatever the site was for the field trip. While in the car. They're having conversations about food, soul food, what's there, blah, 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 blah. Tommy, somehow that turns into a business deal. <laughs> so Tommy is not like a taxi driver. He was an instructor who happened to have his students in the car. And within 48 hours, one of his students became his business partner and brother for 25 years. <laughs> Crazy, I know. I know. That's what I, I get it. I get how some of y'all confused because it does make no sense. For real, for real. She's chosen, says uh, Darius looks and behaves like a predator. True. Tommy is a fraud. Putting on that voice is ridiculous. It's, yeah, the more you hear it, and uh, y'all got a lot more to hear. <laughs> we, ain't, we ain't quite yet at the halfway mark. How long are we looking at? Jesus. I want us to be out of here at the three hour mark for sure, but I'll probably just skip something. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, Tommy, uh, Karma Ticker is saying, I like that. <laughs> Karma Ticker is saying, Tommy has the look and seems charming. Tommy is going to scam crooks behind. He's good though. He's good if this is, if this is what's happening. That's why I was looking at his, his personal IG just to try to get a feel. And that just seems so normal. I mean, he, he's, he plays music. But he's a chameleon. And you always got to be careful with people who are chameleons because he goes to church. He uh, I couldn't tell if he was because uh, their music is different. You know, if it was American music, I'd be able to say, oh, they was playing church music. I don't know. But he was playing the drums. He plays the guitar and he was like in some kind of band rehearsal. But I just couldn't tell from the type of music, you know, was that related to his church 
or is that stuff he do on the side? There was also a clip because he sings too. There was a clip where it looked like he was not singing at church, but it could have been again, things are different. Um, but he's just he he seems like a bit of a chameleon, and again, he goes to this bar, he drinking, he hanging out with people. He had this uh that's the stuff we'll watch tomorrow. Because that clip I showed, what I showed y'all of him at the bar, that wasn't the whole experience. That's what I clipped out for y'all today. It was like a maybe three to five minute video. And he's everything from hanging out with white people and watching the game and stuff. And then they go play pool and all kind of stuff. He's a chameleon. That's, yeah, something's going on. GR is saying when Crooks was explaining. Oh, 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 uh, we get to that later. Uh, Unique Organics hair says, you had a man teach you soul food, but don't know the basics. Yeah, that's very odd to me. I don't know how many of others of you find that odd because he seems to not. It's kind of like, well, what did he teach you then? OK, because he didn't teach you this. He didn't teach you mac and cheese. He didn't teach you cornbread. He didn't teach you biscuits. He didn't teach you. What did he teach you besides fried chicken, which to me ain't good enough because uh, Americans eat fi fried chicken. <laughs> Fried chicken ain't really a black thing. It's an American thing. Uh, Alabama chef, chef, and he's not familiar. Oh, did I? Is that the same kind of come? I don't know. Thank you so much, Unique Organics Hair, for your super sticker. And also, um, of course, my phone will time out. A um, few of y'all hit me up on the Cash App, and I would greatly appreciate it. RN Smith, friend, Ladia, uh, Alice, uh, Jimmy, Tarnisha. Um, Jimmy, I think twice. Thank you. And, um, Sabrina, uh, thank y'all for the super, I'm sorry for the, for the cash apps. I greatly appreciate y'all. And I can't check my, um, Zelle right now. Cause my, uh, account is acting up, but thank you. If you've sent anything over there as well. Okay. Two more, three more questions, uh, comments, and then we getting back to the video. Uh, Jane Doe is saying, what's his obsession with trying to educate? I know it's, it's ridiculous. It's cringy. Uh, Bruce W. is saying Tommy is just feeding Crook's ego, making him think uh, he is so much smarter than everyone, laying the groundwork for the scam. I, I, I can see that as well. Like, again, like I'm thinking that way. And then I'm like, well, maybe he is innocent and he's holding out hope that this man is going to be his great black hope <laughs> who got the money to, to be seed money. I don't know. Uh, he has very bigoted beliefs around what blackness is. I love that voodoo uh, queen. That That's a perfect. It's very big. It's like a white person talking about blackness. <laughs> and he black. And grew up around black people. I don't know. This man, he got some serious issues. Jesus, I wish he would get on somebody's therapy couch. He claim he gets therapy. Well, has. But he definitely doesn't. <laughs> definitely. Off of Joe. And then we will eventually roll this out and make ourselves a little bit of a, a peach cobbler situation. You know how this goes, right? You've done this plenty of times before. Peach cobbler is a dessert that everybody makes. We normally, if we have a big Sunday dinner, like let's say we do like a big Sunday soul food dinner, there's always peach cobbler. Yeah, peach cobbler, banana pudding, red velvet cake, and some sort of like pound cake is always on the menu. So this is like... That's so misleading. I mean, there's a bunch of black people watching right now. We got nearly 500 black people watching right this moment. And I think the great majority of you, well, even based on this vote, because that's the poll. I put the poll out too early. Do all black people have peach cobbler, banana pudding, red velvet cake, uh at every soul food dinner 12 percent of y'all say yes so 12 percent of y'all agree with darius crooks but 88 percent of us which is the majority are like uh yeah no nah. <laughs> i ain't saying i ain't never been nowhere with those but that's not a every soul food dinner every sunday kind of thing i love peach cobbler and i rarely had it as a kid rarely had it growing up period it was special occasions i had it craziness got got tommy thinking that uh all our soul food dinners look alike <laughs> quintessential but the thing is 
Right, Courtney's saying that's a treat. That's how peach cobbler for us, and I don't know everybody's household, different everybody family. To, but that peach cobbler was a treat for us. It was, or for my household for sure, it was a treat. It wasn't something I had often at all. I probably could almost quantify how many times I've had peach cobbler in my life, <laughs> truly, <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> Every like locale or region, they do it differently. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and Tommy has never had authentic macaroni and cheese. Okay, I'm going to make, the next thing I'm going to make is macaroni and cheese. He's never had like real, honest, authentic, 100% amazing macaroni and cheese. Okay. Okay, this is just the okay. juice. It's okay. just the juice. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Be careful. The man's not hot, sir. It's hot. Okay. <laughs> he feeding a grown man. Did y'all catch that? Oh, wow. So, it's so good. That's the syrup. Yep. You got the acidity. You got the sweetness. You so got... it's not too sweet. Mm -hmm. It's like just sweet enough. Right. And then we're going to thicken this with a little cornstarch. Jane Doe is saying, why doesn't Tommy speak... Broken English is given not from Indonesia. Now, that would be a shocker. That would be a shocker for me, at least like <laughs> that. He that because that would be a lot then because he says he's on, he's from Indonesia, never been to America, blah, 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 this and that. Darius Cook's talking about he got to get him a visa and all this other stuff. Although Tommy do know some stuff about America, like some places in America and all that kind of stuff. I don't know. I don't know. That would be interesting, though, because, again, Tommy was hanging out with his Indonesian friend. And the guy you could tell was Indonesian. He have he had an accent. Tommy don't really have one. <laughs> How did he get all these various being able to to? He says his voice goes from Australia. Oh, Darius Crooks claims that this happens happened because Tommy is an instructor and he instructs people from different places. I don't know if I'm still buying that though. That that that's a little different. Like you gotta, you gotta be engrossed in a culture to take on the true dialect. Like that's different. Like I could try to speak Spanish, but it's still my intonation is different. I know some words, but if I'm talking in a crowd of people, people gonna be like, "That's a person who's trying to speak Spanish." They don't. They not. They not Hispanic. They not Latin. <laughs> some some ain't adding up. Wow. So this is called peach cobbler, Tommy. Peach cobbler. And he treating him like a five-year-old. So this is called peach cobbler. How many times you gonna say that? He know you making peach cobbler. It's so insulting. This is what we eat. Yep, this is gonna be a new word in my vocabulary. It's peach cobbler. Peach cobbler. Peach yes. cobbler. All right. He's it seemed like Tommy leans into it knowing that it's insulting, but it's... It's some, I don't know, y'all. So much, so much to dissect here. Never had peach cobbler before. Okay, now, okay. If you need anything from my online store, y'all, y'all can go to shopdariuscooks.com. The discount code is uh, the word Bali60 at checkout. All right, Bali 60 at checkout, and that's going to save you 60% while we're live. Don says we're up to number 13, 13 times of a, uh, this infomercial, because that's what it really is. As much as he tried to talk about other creators, talking about, you know, uh, ways to donate to them and cash apps and so-and-so, she at 13 already. All right. Okay, each cobbler, Okay. So you put all of this in. This makes us happy. This kind of stuff makes us like excited. Uh, that reminds me of the figures of my baby mama right there. <laughs> of your baby mama? Yes. <laughs> Y'all heard what he said, right? <laughs> this why I be thinking he black, but he not. <laughs> he said this reminds me of thinking of my baby mama. Okay. <laughs> Why is he so thoroughly entertained by that? Because I'd be like, Tommy, be yourself around me. Tommy, don't try to be what you think I'm, I would be entertained by, who you 
think I would want you to be. Be yourself, Tommy. You ain't got to use dialect that you think black people use or terms or sayings. What you talking about? Thick like my baby mama. What? Hannah Drake brings up a great point. What he should have done, as in Crooks, is open a stand and see if there is proof of concept. He should start small, like he said, a stand, maybe a pop-up or something, to see if this could work in Bali. See if they would be interested in it. But this dude then committed to a 25-year uh, lease and business deal. Building a house and a whole structure, new construction, architectural plans, co contract, all of it, all in. Spent sixty thousand dollars supposedly just on the uh, the the lease for the land already, and ain't got nothing to show for it. Could have used ten percent of that and went on ahead and did like a like uh, Hannah Drake is saying a little stand or something and try it out. Rent a kitchen space. D do another kitchen comeback. <laughs> no, that was a failure. But do a kitchen comeback in a restaurant down there. Test the food out. See if it works for the people. This is why I'll be like, oh, you black. <laughs> At first. And then he keeps talking, and then I'll be like, he not black, okay? Can I just block the, the dough on top? Do I have to roll it out? I don't have to roll it out, do I? I can just blot it on top, can I? Like this, look. I can just block the dough all over the top. I don't have to roll it out, do I? What y'all think? I mean, I could roll it, but I also think there's something sort of rustic and beautiful about making like little dumplings and blotting it all over the top. Like this, right? I could I don't have to roll it out, do I? We could we could deviate a little bit, can we? Right. That's what I thought. Yeah, let's deviate a little bit. Come on, y'all. Let's be creative. And we do this with apples. Tommy, we do this with berries. Oh, not just peaches. Yeah, mostly it's peaches, but we we've done that. We can do this with you know any kind of fruit. We do the same thing, and and most. I've never ever seen black people in my world ever have no berry uh, cobbler pie, a be berry cobbler. <laughs> I've seen them, <laughs> but they ain't been nowhere near a black person I know. <laughs> Even an apple cobbler. I've settled for it in restaurants and stuff and been like, ooh, if only this was peaches. <laughs> I don't know. It looks like she just be making up stuff to me. Because <laughs> I don't know. Unless y'all know something. I don't know. Uh, St. Center says, I have had berry cobbler at, at like with your relatives or at a restaurant. I've had blueberry cobbler before. Okay. Well, maybe Miss, Mistress Mel is saying. Okay. At, at y'all houses, though, or at restaurants. Because I've seen, like I said, I've seen that stuff before. I ain't never seen it in no black folks. I know houses. Black people love this. It's like our dessert. Right. Like, we love this. We love a good peach cobbler. Mm -hmm. All black people love peach cobbler. I saw a bunch of y'all saying y'all don't even like it. <laughs> All black people, though. You bet. There's something wrong with you because you're black. You're supposed to be liking peach cobbler. Right, look at that. Right? You can't roll it out because it don't looks like water. Well, if you were to roll it out, you do the same thing you do with the biscuit. Hold on. I see you want to play with me on my time. Give me a second. You want to play with me on my time. If you were going to roll it out, let me show you how you do it. You add flour down like you would do a biscuit. We call this bench flour. Y'all pardon me one second. You know, I hate when people play on my time like this, so I have to show you that I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Hold on one second. Remember, 
this the this the sassy bitch that don't let nothing get under her skin. I got thick skin. I don't let nothing ha- uh, bother me. No, no, nothing bother me. She get one little comment in the chat about them saying she don't know how to make the dough. That's why she cheated. And now she got a point to prove it. She got an attitude about it. She cursing. <laughs> she doing like I was doing yesterday. She cursing folks out. <laughs> well, I wasn't cursing folks out. I was cursing at her. Pardon me one moment. One moment, Tito, okay? So what you would do is I purposefully, like I do biscuits, I make it too thin. That way I can incorporate enough bench flour till I get to my desired dough consistency, okay? Then what I would normally do is take a rolling pin. Rolling pins are not popular here in Indonesia. So you would take a wine bottle or an alcohol bottle and then you would flower your surface beautifully and then you would then roll out your dough to your desired consistency, your desired thickness. And then you would take your dough and lay your dough on top of your uh, peach cobbler, okay? If I were going to make a little bit of dough, I would do it this way, okay? So for those of you who say you can't roll it out, because it looks like water. Well, what do you call this? Playing with me ain't the way to go. I'm gonna embarrass you every single time, all right? I'm gonna embarrass you every single time. This is the peach cobbler dough that you normally used to see. I'm going a little bit differently here by turning mine into crumbles. Now, Did we have any other questions for me? I didn't think so. If there's anything you need from the online store, you can go to shopdariuscooks.com. We got, we are, uh, we are 14 now because Don typed this beforehand. So I think this is number 14. Correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, promotion number 14. Discount code is the word Bali60 at checkout. You can save 60% while I'm live. I'm here if you have any other questions. They like playing with me sometimes, Tommy. Yeah. Get him! They like playing with me sometimes, and I'm not necessarily sure why they like playing on my time. Time as if I. You hear Tommy? Get him! So Tommy has already been indoctrinated based on Crook's creating of the narrative that everybody who harasses him, they're jealous because he's rich. Uh, he's successful, all these other, you know, mundane lies that he tells and Tommy's buying into it. So he's like, get him. Cause you know, he's already been indoctrinated. So soon Tommy will probably be being toxic. <laughs> uh, Marianne is saying, I'm trying not to jump too far in the chat. Cause then I miss all these other, uh, comments, but Marianne is saying, or oh, just, uh, uh, 14, uh, promotions for the shopping. And 11 comments about black, what black folks do and don't do and is and ain't. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Generalizations about black folks, stereotypes, misinformation. Doing, okay? I did not get here by osmosis. I got here by hard work. Now, let me clean this up so that we can get ready to make the macaroni and cheese from scratch. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, in Indonesia, we're going to make macaroni crumbles. I didn't mean to curse, <laughs> but I accidentally, I was trying to hit pause. I actually skipped this thing way ahead. Uh, it's so sensitive. Okay, good. We're right in a close area. Um, Jane Doe says, who going to call Neve? Uh, we can also bring bring <laughs> bring Max back, uh, as in Catfish, for those of you who don't get that reference. Uh, the show Catfish, where they find the people who are catfishing people they were dating. <laughs> Saying we need Catfish in order to uh, figure out what's going on with Tommy. I, I <laughs> That ain't far-fetched to me. We got to figure this out. We need some help. And cheese from scratch. Thank you. 
<laughs> okay, y'all like playing with me or? I'm not the one. Are oh, you going to play it off for me? No, thank you. I don't even know why the comments ain't on here. What did I? How did I screen record that? I can't even remember. Yeah, the comments should have been on here. I don't know what happened. I, it was, I don't even, I can't even think of what, maybe I wasn't paying. I don't know what had that happen. Oh, it's probably the way I screen recorded it. For some reason, I, oh, because I, th I think I screen recorded this on a different platform. That's why. No, that's why. I didn't record this off Instagram. That's why the comments aren't there. Um, Because Instagram, when he records on Instagram, he, he, he never saves them. They go to, and they never stay up. So because I missed the beginning of this, I had to go, I can't even remember which platform I went on, but I went on another platform in order to, it had to be Facebook probably to record this whole thing from y'all. Cause I had missed the part with Tommy talking about his biggest fears and all of that. That's when I started originally recording the other one. So that's why we don't have the comments. I re recorded on a different platform. Now, Tommy's never had real, authentic, southern macaroni and cheese. Oh, no. I'm going to make some for him. Let me do. Real, authentic, southern mac and cheese. Tommy was trained by an American black male from Alabama, but he never had no real, authentic, southern mac and cheese. Uh, last time I checked, Alabama was in the South. <laughs> Some ain't adding up about that one. Some ain't about adding up about that. I'm gonna put it over here. I'm gonna put this one on, and then we'll get this one going. Yes, thank you for reminding. Uh, yes, his uh titties are sweaty. His titties and his back. The hair, the 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 uh the woolly um. The SOS pad, Brillo pad, chest, uh, taco meat, sweating, and uh, his back. Any other questions? And that milk dud head. Question. Okay. Any other questions you have for me, you let me know. I'm here to help you out tonight. One thing you're going to stop doing is playing on my time. Thank you. Yeah, he jumped in. Tommy jumped in. Sous chef. <laughs> okay, and we're gonna get ready to make this macaroni and cheese. Are you know uh now the D Hivers are in love with Tommy right now? Wait until something goes awry. Watch how quick they turn on Tommy. Wait till just a little bit of an infraction or something. They're going to be like, I never liked him. He seemed fake and phony. He, he, I hated him because he was trying to act black. <laughs> like, it'll be all kind of stuff. <laughs> what you can do while you want me to? You can clean these. Yeah. Take the, um, can you take the head off? Do you mind? Yeah. Y'all eat the head off. Get on, y'all. Y'all eat it off. You, you eat it? Nah, you don't? Take you take it off. So, okay, I just confirmed they take the head off over here, too. Yes. Um, is it Crone Kane? Um, yes, he uh, he is from Chicago. Um, uh, comment is a question. Ain't he from Chicago? He don't speak for us. Right. Darius Crooks is from the west side of Chicago. Ain't nothing southern about him but his grandma. <laughs> It's that Southern thing helped him, you know, with his part of his grifting with his brand. And so he leans into that and says he has a unique Southern mind and all this foolishness. And the dude ain't, ain't never been, ain't never lived in the South. Foolishness. She just say stuff. When it comes to the, um, the shrimp. Okay. When it comes to the fried shrimp, I know y'all thought Tommy was not a real person. Do you know people didn't believe me, Tommy? Really? They didn't believe me. People were like, I don't believe you have a business partner who goes to who goes to Bali on vacation and meets a business partner. Who was saying that? Because he was posting pictures before he even left the vacation, talking about these my new business partners within 48 hours of, of meeting him. I think she just be saying stuff. I know she do. And I'm like, I'm we know she do. <laughs> I'm telling them we have meetings. 
We've been we've been on WhatsApp. We've been on Zoom meetings together the whole time I was in America. Yeah. And he was right here. Mm -hmm. It's for real. We really opened it up a restaurant called Hip Hop Soul, and not just one Hip Hop Soul. We try to open up three Hip Hop Souls. We try to open up three Bali best cooking school. So when you come to Bali, you learn the traditional, authentic way to cook Balinese cuisine. Three of them. One in Ubud, one in Seminyak, and one in Changu, right? And then we just had an idea the other day to open up a barbecue restaurant. Oh, yeah. Called Hip Hop Pick. I say, listen, if you want to open up one, we can open it up, okay? I know how to barbecue. I know how to make baked beans. I know how to make baked potato, collard greens, potato salad, all of that. I just need somebody who know to tell me, yes, this will work. No, it won't work. And this man know everything. This man know everything. Now I can't wait until Tommy becomes incompetent. I'm going to make sure that I don't. I'm good at keeping track of my clips now. We got to save this. This has to become a sound bite because I guarantee you at a point he's going to be uh, when he starts dragging Tommy and trying to discredit him. He's going to be like, Tommy don't know. She, he don't know nothing. He don't know nothing. He wasn't this. He wasn't that. Tommy didn't handle his business. Blah, blah, blah. Tommy weak. <laughs> like all kind of stuff. But doesn't it tell you something? of what Darius Crook's real priority is in going to Bali and, and uh, embarking on all of these multitude of businesses at the same exact time, it's all about the money. He don't care about the businesses, the quality of the businesses, nothing else. He gonna start these and run if they get started. How you ain't even got the first business open yet and you talking about, what are you up to, six or seven? What do you say? Three restaurants? Then he had the bit the pit restaurants or the barbecue. That's four. Then he trying to get Tommy to open four cooking schools. How you doing all that? Where's your growth period? He don't care about nothing like that. That's why he has the businesses that start and then fall apart. Every business he's had, except for his internet grifting, has ended within the first three years. Every single one. Well, and most of them didn't even make it a full year. Year and a half or rather. I think Greens and Gravy is his longest running uh, brick and mortar business. All the rest of them were, even the, the Carolina Pound Cake, that was all of six months or something. Cupcake Gallery, I think that was maybe a year, year and a half, something like that. Fresco, the scam few months go down a whole list credit repair the above 701 a few months if it wasn't so tired i'd be able to think of more but y'all had me editing this all day <laughs> thank you um oh here it is thank you mr and mrs peoples uh people peoples uh for uh the super sticker i really appreciate you friend all right back to this we gotta get this done All the people that work at these restaurants, he helped them get jobs. So he know everybody. How do he know everybody? He is the mayor, okay? He is the mayor of Bali. This guy knows everybody. We go into restaurants. We wasn't even planning, y'all, to go to smoke, right? So they never knew we were coming. We walk in the smoke. He's like, I know the owner. I know the chef. I know the cook. I helped this guy open. I said, listen here. All you need is the money. Well, I got the money. You see what I'm saying? Let's go. And Tommy is also used to having haters. He's used to having haters. Yeah. Cause I told him, I said, listen, man, I. 
I found this to be interesting as well, because I didn't know that prior to that moment. But I heard this earlier. Tommy is used to having haters. If Tommy is a person who knows everyone, gets along with everyone, helping everybody get jobs, and he opened all these multitude of restaurants, how Tommy got haters on the level that um, require mentioning? I mean, we all got people that might not like us or care for us. Me now being a public figure, I got a ton of people, but not on a level that I would even mention, oh, I got haters. I don't even think about it like that. I think when you get to the point that you got to mention that you got haters, it's because you really got some ish going on out there. You got some, you got a, a truckload of people, a mob of people who got issues with you. Situations where you're the common denominator. I don't have that issue. And Tommy ain't no public figure. So how Tommy got a whole community of haters? Something ain't right. The math ain't mathing. Oh, he's helped open a bunch of businesses, supposedly. Did he fall out with those business owners? Did he in some way uh, cause some kind of infraction? Would some of them say he scammed them? Why does Tommy, little old nice Tommy, five foot four, cooking, chef teaching uh, Tommy, hip hop language knowing, uh, guitar and uh drum playing tommy charismatic drink making bartender and uh sitting on the other side being the the patron tommy hey, he got haters the math ain't math and once again i am hated you understand me he said i'm used to it I'm used to having haters. I said, okay. Tommy is used to having haters. Things that make you go, hmm. Because <laughs> I ain't got that story. And I'm a public figure. <laughs> I can't say I'm used to having haters. I know that they exist. I ain't saying I had no, no situations. But I also don't walk around here like, ooh, I got a lot of haters. <laughs> wow. That's what's up. I'm going to use this to boil my pasta and that's all I got. So he like, I done found somebody like me who was also hated. <laughs> some ain't right. Some ain't right. One thing you have to know about Tommy is if you been following me, Tommy is the same way. You know how, like, I don't own a restaurant but I know how restaurants work and I work with restaurants. You know, I'm more of a on the side, in between, come up with recipes. Tommy's the same way. He's an entrepreneur. He runs these cooking schools and cooking classes, and but it's not primarily his. So it's not 100% his. We gotta change that, okay? To make it 100% his, just write me 40%. That's it. Did y'all catch that? It's a hundred percent his. Just write me forty percent. A hundred percent his, but write your forty percent. That's not a hundred, sir, <laughs> madam, <laughs> sassy crooks. That means it's not fully her business. I'm gonna use this to boil my pasta, and that's all I got for right now. Deal with it, okay? Let me get some water on. One thing you have to know about Tommy is if you've been following me, Tommy is the same way. You know how, like, I don't own a restaurant, but I know how restaurants work and I work with restaurants. You know, I'm more of a on the side, in between, come up with recipes. Tommy's the same way. He's an entrepreneur. He runs these cooking schools and cooking classes, and but it's not primarily his. So it's not 100% his. We got to change that, okay? To make it 100% his, just write me 40%. That's it. Time to make big moves. <laughs> 
Ash W saying, Tommy is so quiet, LOL. Exactly. <laughs> also, see, this shows Darius Crooks. I mean, we know these things, but I'm explaining because everybody don't know. But we know his main motivation is always money. Because how did we go from uh, the first time he started talking about him investing in, well, convincing Tommy that he needed schools, his own schools. He said he just wanted, well, Tommy wanted one school. He told Tommy, no, no, you got to do four schools. He told Tommy that all he wanted was, uh, I think it was 20 to 25%. It was one or the other, 20 to 25% um, of the, the profit, basically, from the business. Now this girl left a 40% already. By the time anything actually started to be uh, to, to materialize, she going to be up to uh, 50 to 60%. Percent talking about well, it's really my business because this is all my money, and you wouldn't have it without me. You just running it. <laughs> That's how she is. She says she doesn't play well with others when it comes to businesses. She did not lie. She's ruthless. That's what that's how I when I start when I even saw this, I said, Oh, yeah, I forgot about this part. This is where it's gonna all start to fall apart because Tommy don't seem like quite that kind of pushover. Seem like he playing a role. Somebody said uh, in one of the early com comments I saw that Tommy works with foreigners. He works with tourists. So he has to adapt. He knows how to deal with ignorance and people with superiority complexes and, oh, okay, and smile let them and nod his head and be like, just give me your tip. Get the fuck out of my face. Like, he knows how to do that to get to his end goal. I don't think he has. I'm trying to. The more I'm thinking about it, Tommy just playing a role. I told him. I said, "Listen, man, we can run these cooking schools. You can do whatever you want to do, however you want to do it. Just write me in forty percent. I pay for it." He was like, "For real?" I was like, yes. It's a match. I've met my culinary soulmate, okay, right here. If there's anything you need. Oh, which part of Bali? We in um, Chengdu. 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 C-A-N-G-G-U. Chengdu. Let me know, too. I know... There's more questions for Tommy. Hold on one second. Let me see. I can't get to all of these questions, y'all. It's too many of them. Hold on. Uh, okay. They want to know, will you take some food home to your wife, Tommy? Oh, you know what? It's so funny that my wife's never even tastes black food, black soul food. And when I tell her the experience I'm having yesterday about the cornbread, you know, the chicken and the baked beans, beans and potatoes, she was that I'd take some home for her. But yeah, that is what it is. So her, his wife, <laughs> his wife has never had it. Just no. FYI, okay? So he'll take some home to his wife so she can try it. I will. Uh, what is Tommy's specialty in his class? Does he cover the basics? What's yeah. your specialty in your class, Tommy? Oh, it's all about Balinese food. So, look, Indonesia is huge, guys. Indonesia is not really big on the map, but if you stretch it out, it's so big. So, there's Japanese food, there's Sundanese food, there's Maluccanese food, there's Sulawesian food, and each area have their own speciality. And Balinese food is thick. So that's my, um, that's where I'm operating at. That's where I'm, that's where I'm specialty at. Balinese food. Balinese food. Yep. Y'all heard what he said. Yeah. Okay. Look but at I can me. do some Indonesian food as well. I am sweating something crazy, okay? Okay, Tommy. They said, <laughs> how tall is Tommy? 
<laughs> I'm short. 165 centimeters. Y'all can calculate that, right? <laughs> I did the math. That was five five feet four inches, if I'm not uh, if I'm correct. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think he's five foot uh, four inches. Hold on one second. I'm I'm struggling over here with uh, I'm struggling with. Oh, let me get down to the mode for recent comments. Uh, Leola is saying, I guess he can't afford air, air conditioning. He he turned he had Tommy turn off the air earlier in the live because he claimed something about he wanted the pool to be warm when he gets off of live. But I would have rather have been in the house doing this live with with stoves and ovens going with the air on and bear with the pool having to take time to warm up after <laughs> than to sit there sweaty on multiple platforms. He's on his Instagrams and Facebooks and YouTube sweating and looking a fool. She don't care. Instagram. Hold on, y'all. Instagram, I'm struggling with y'all. Hold on one second. <laughs> I'm struggling with y'all. Let me get you on the Wi-Fi. Hold on, Instagram. I am struggling with Instagram, y'all. You want to take the shell off? Yeah, take the shell off. Oh, okay. I can't get on Instagram. I can't. Hold on. I don't screw Instagram up, y'all. Hold on. I'm having the hardest time, Instagram. Hold on one second. I know I'm I'm tipsy, but damn, I'm really messing this up. Don't forget, if there's anything you need from the online store, you can go to shopdariuscooks.com. The discount code is the word. What number are we up to now with the sales pitch? You <laughs> 60% while I'm live. I'm adding some sea salt. Is very. This is Tommy. He's my business partner. That's who's behind me. Is that who's this guy? <laughs> who's this guy behind you? It's Tommy. Watch me. You don't have to watch me. <laughs> you see how disconnected they be because they don't watch every day, all day. Not all of them. Some of them though. It's a group of them that do. They be like, "Who is this person?" Tommy been around for uh, two months now. <laughs> Talk about some. Who is this person? Uh, we're at sixteen per don. Uh, 16 uh, promos, and this girl got nerfed 15 or six. I think we're at 16, Nicole. Um, this fool got nerve enough again to talk about other creators who uh ask for donations and support, but again, he's doing the same thing, it just looks different. He hawking his products. Oh, it was muted. Um, uh, Tommy, they says in your culture. Are there any foods that you will not eat? Here is Tommy. Everybody's well, we gotta do it again. Hold on, y'all. Sorry. Jesus. This thing's so delicate. Everybody. Fresh, yeah, we don't eat that either. Ain't nobody eating that. Anybody eating no fresh pig blood? No chicken. Oh, right, here's the question they asked him. All right. I've got the pasta boiling. Don't forget, y'all, anything you want from my online store, you can get it at shopdariuscooks.com. The discount code is the word Bali. Uh, I was, yeah, I forgot the comment I was about to read. I was calling myself the mute to read and now I lost the comment. I eat. Um, yes. Like what? Flower. What is that? That's, uh... Somebody asked the question of what he won't, what, is there any Indonesian food that he won't eat? And so uh, to Tommy, and Tommy's describing, uh, saying what it is now. The real version of green papaya with meat, fresh animal blood, and raw pig ears. What? <laughs> what is it? It's green papaya yep. with fresh, what? Fresh animal blood. So they put, if they use chicken meat, they use chicken blood. If they use pork meat, they'll put pig blood. And they also gonna put pig ears raw. And you supposed to eat that? Yeah. Who eats that? Everybody. <laughs> People Everybody. that are 
people that live here eat that. Yeah. So if there's a ceremony here in Bali that, um, you know, it's uh, it's like their big days and their celebration days. So even wedding reception, they would cook that. So a wedding reception, you would, what's, and what's the name of it? La Wadi. La Wadi. La Rar. Yeah. How do you spell it? La Rar. L A W A R R R. L A W A R R R. La Rar. <laughs> right, the watcher. So basically, this is an infomercial. Yes, an infomercial disguised as, oh, I'm giving cooking tutorials and spending time with my uh, followers, my dehivers who I love so dearly. Yeah, no, this is an infomercial. And he does these daily now. Uh, while in Bali. So anytime he does these cooking lives, they're infomercials. Come to Bali and experience real, local, authentic food. Here's La Wow. <laughs> it sounds bad, doesn't it? They said, no, thank you. Um, I don't know, y'all. It won't let me scroll up to answer any more questions. I don't know what's going on with Instagram. I think it's like frozen or something. It's stuck. Hold on, y'all. It's like stuck. It won't even let me get out of the questions. Okay, I got out of the questions. But it won't let me, it won't let me get to any more questions without freezing. So I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm just chopping up the gouda out, right? All right, let's put this together. Oh, look at you. You done really washed all the dishes up over here. <laughs> look at Tommy. All right, let's give that a mix. And you know if you're in good territory, if it sounds like. That. They say it sounds like a. Uh, when you're having sex. Right, floppy. <laughs> look, look, look. <laughs> they say, if it doesn't sound like that, you're not, you haven't done the right thing. This isn't even baked yet. It's not even baked yet. But you tell me. Oh, okay. What you think? Take this, the fork, it's hot, be careful. It's not baked yet. Mm. Oh my God. It's not baked. This is so good. We haven't put the cheese on yet. <laughs> I gotta try this. Even if it's not baked, mm -hmm. mm. everything is just perfect. Yeah, this is this is like traditional black people's like mac and cheese. Right, right. This is uh, this is what we like. Okay, this is what we like. Okay. Let's put them back into a bowl. Now, if there's anything you need from the online store, shopdariuscooks.com. The discount code is the word Bali 40 or 60. Perfect timing, Michelle Withers. Uh, I wonder where we can get Darius cookware, <laughs> LOL, right? <laughs> if you've missed it, I think we're on uh, number 17. I've seen some discrepancies in y'all count, but it was 17 or 18. <laughs> 17 or 18 times. <laughs> okay, Nicole has said 17. <laughs> then grits. So we do the exact same thing we do with grits. What do we do with grits? We're going to add in some heavy cream. Right? We're also going to add in some mascarpone cheese. Yes, they have mascarpone out here in Indonesia. Please hit that like button if you haven't. Just a reminder. I see we got uh, a few more people in. Uh, we got 365 likes and 511 uh, people viewing. Uh, please hit that like button and subscribe and share. Uh, it is free to you, but it is invaluable to me and the growth of my platforms. Uh, so thank you in advance. And if you are, uh, you know, dehivering, you're uh, looking to get information to take back to your leader, uh, you can hit the thumbs thumbs down as well. Thank you. All right. You don't use mascarpone cheese. Uh, 
You've never used mascarpone cheese. No idea what mascarpone cheese is. You just tasted it. Yeah. <laughs> it helps add creaminess to stuff. It doesn't taste good by itself. Yep. You need to usually add it to something to make it taste good. See, it's just kind of plain. It's plain. But, it's like yeah, like yogurt almost, right? But what it does is it lends itself to like a creamy texture. And this is what we... Uh, are you saying simply re uh that doesn't sound believable as far as the, the the blood drinking uh eating the blood like a soup or whatever they actually do that in asian cultures uh, i am i have heard of that before uh i've never had it um uh, something i would pass on but i have heard that before for sure the shrimp paste i see of, okay. of african-american cooking mm -hmm. you know what i mean mm -hmm. they go add more butter add <laughs> Oh, I forgot. Here's another stereotypical uh, generalization because, you know, all black people eat a lot of butter, sugar, uh, all that. We always want our foods to be extremely rich, unhealthy and diabetic inducing. That's what we all want now. Turmeric and the shrimp paste I see. Okay. Of, of African-American cooking. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They go add more butter. Jeez. Add more cheese. <laughs> add more cream. Like yeah. black people love this. Look, look at the comments. Mm. They're all smiling. They have the emojis where they're, you know, they're licking their lips. All right, I'm using the Darius Cooks Everyday Skillet. If you need one, you can get it at um, shopdariuscooks.com. The discount code. That 18, y'all? Are we up to 18? Promo number 18? At checkout. You see this? You see this? I think y'all stopped counting the uh, black uh, people in fractions. Oh, 13. Thank you, Don. Don's still keeping up with that. We're at 13. It's, it's catching up. It's not far behind. <laughs> Which is a particular region of the United States. They just cook things a little different. I think we missed that. Oh, shoot. I hate this. It's so hard to navigate it. That's too far. DariusCooks.com. The discount code... The discount code is the word Bali60 at checkout. You see this? You see that? And it's got to be a green bell pepper. You know that. Okay. So we have this thing in, remember I was telling you about different regions of the country? Uh -huh. So we have this thing in uh, New Orleans, which is a particular region of the United States. They just cook things a little differently in New Orleans, mm -hmm. and they're known for it. Like right. they're popular for New Orleans style cooking. Mm -hmm. They have something called the Trinity. Trinity. The Trinity. You know, Father, you're a Christian. You know, oh, Father, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Yeah. So they have something called the Trinity in New Orleans cooking, and it's onion, bell pepper, celery. They put it in everything. Yeah. Usually accompanied with garlic as well. Mm -hmm. So this shrimp and grits dish sort of was made more popular by like Creole Cajun cooking than any place else in the country, right. right? So we sort of remain true a little bit to some of what they do, which is the onion, the bell pepper. They would use like a sausage called andouille sausage. Andouille sausage has a little French in it, right? Because that's where, remember Louisiana, used to be French territory mm -hmm. before the Louisiana Purchase. I so they have a lot of French techniques still in their cooking, yep. and a lot of their stuff still has French names, like beignets, mm -hmm. etouffee, right? Mm -hmm. Those are all French terms, but it defines Creole cooking. Creole. Yeah, Creole, Creole Cajun cooking is what it defines. I'm teaching them, y'all. I'm teaching them, okay? I'm teaching them. Don't worry. I got it. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry. I got them. All right. I'm giving them a little lesson in, in what we do. It's so sad. This man that went to a whole, <laughs> right. Uh, Jane does said teaching wrong. <laughs> this man that went to a whole country, went across the globe and acting like he is the Messiah. Like he's come down to save Po old Tommy and teach him about the ways of the world. <laughs> this girl is the You see that her delusion is not uh just uh 
restricted to America. She takes it wherever she goes. The mental illness follows her, <laughs> right? Uh, Sabrina Lloyd. What the hell is he talking about? <laughs> so I'm gonna skip ahead to it's almost over anyway. It was um, it's at 53 minutes and 29 seconds. How long was this thing? I remember where I'm at. Oh, it was an hour and 14. I thought I had got more more than that edited out. Okay. Yeah, I had. It was two hours and 40 something minutes, so that still was good. Okay, I'm gonna get to the taste testing part. Forgot where he started tasting food, though. I feel like he tasted before this. Hold on. Oh, it's coming up. Okay, it's around this time. Here it is. Okay. We're going to get to Tommy's tasting. Uh, Darius Crooks putting his uh, slang his tetis, <laughs> slinging his big old bitties uh, over the food, slaving for his, uh, what he's hoping to be his uh, business partner and future man. <laughs> Little uh, five foot four Tommy. Yeah, that should be big. And then a little green on top. <laughs> All right, Tommy. Oh my God. His first time having authentic shrimp oh, and grits. Oh my God. His first time oh. having authentic shrimp. You know, it smells grits. so good. <laughs> They're both actors, is what I'm, what I've realized uh, in, you know, having a screen, like having a, edit this and stuff they're both acting uh eugene x right cringe i just can't. okay that's his first time authentic okay. shrimp and grits y'all let me try to let me try to grits first mm. Mm. oh my god it's so good oh wow Oh, wow, it's so different. Mm -hmm. It's so different. Oh my God, this is... Okay, now the shrimp. <laughs> mm. 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 <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> my legs weak. <laughs> what, do you, what, do you, what do you think? Did it work? We're going to have to sell this, sir. We're going to have to sell We're going to have to sell this. We're going to have this particular one in the restaurant, y'all. Hip-hop soul. Hip-hop soul. <laughs> Yo, it's so good. You make me crack up out loud, honey hurricane. I hate him even more now. <laughs> you and me both, friend, because I had to edit this ish. <laughs> y'all, oh, y'all got to know how much I love y'all. Oh, my God, it was torture. Oh, my God. I saved y'all from two and a half hours of just this. <laughs> the texture is perfect. The shrimp texture is perfect. Oh my God. It's like just cooked room. Mm. It's not chewy. It's super tender. Y'all missing out. Mm. Ah, so good. True. So good. True, authentic. <laughs> Sugar grits. Okay. Let me put a piece of cobbler out the oven. I need the macaroni and water. Macaroni cheese more time. Mm. Oh, wow. It's all right, huh? Wow. It's not just all right, sir. Okay. Elijah Luke, when you say he's ghetto, don't uh, be not deceived. Are you saying like uh, foreign ghetto, like Indonesian ghetto, or American ghetto? Like, cause I know they both exist, but I'm I'm just wondering if you if you're going with the narrative that he also <laughs> ain't from that country. Well, oh, at least have li has, li has lived outside of that country. I agree with you. <laughs> I'm just trying to see what where you're coming from. Very good. Soul food. Oh my god! All right, soul food. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> it's Sunday right now. It's it is crazy. Sunday. It's Sunday here in Bali. I'm calling the name of the law. Jesus! Yeah, those are grits, man. 
I was like, oh Lord, Tommy play church too. <laughs> Those are the way we make our grits. <clears throat> Back at home. Oh my God. It's polenta, but this is how we make our grits. <laughs> I'm sitting here trying to read the comments, so I did miss that, but I, I'm, I'm aware from editing. Uh, miss uh, TC to you. Uh, <laughs> Darius Crook sitting back there, <laughs> sassy crooks. <laughs> and it was it was very cringy, the way he's looking, <laughs> like a proud mama. <laughs> a proud mama in her robes and uh, hair rollers and her kids uh, then went up to the kids' uh, school for their auditorium uh, play. <laughs> Sitting in the back of the auditorium, leaning, leaning back, watching her kids. <laughs> Proud. <laughs> it was very cringy. It was very cringy. <laughs> I just missed it because I was reading comments. <laughs> but I know what she was talking about. Oh, my God. I had to enlarge this. I don't know how well y'all can tell from the edit. Well, I'm like, how, why is so much of it spilled out of the pan? What is happening? I've never seen that before. It's a mess. I thought he was good at what he does. What is that? That seems very amateurish. Is that normal? Because I don't make peach cobbler at home. I enjoy it dearly, but I don't make it at home. I'm like, I don't think that's right. <laughs> he needed a pan to catch the stuff coming out of the pan. That means you overloaded it. You don't know what the hell you're doing. He always says he's not a baker, though. He ain't never been no baker. Okay, uh, Unique Organic said, this is not normal, Phil. I thought it wasn't. <laughs> and he doing it like he proud. But the flying monkeys, the D-haggers, they ain't going to say nothing about it. Oh, that look good. That looks so delicious. I want to sop it up. <laughs> Peach cobbler. I know Minister Deborah Davis, I ain't going to even lie, uh, having to edit this and <laughs> watch all this ish for hours today, it did make me say, damn, I want some peach cobbler, now I want some <laughs> shrimp and grits. <laughs> I was like, ooh, I might make a meatloaf next week. <laughs> it's unfortunate. She's an influencer. She's, she's the spawn of Satan, but at the end of the day, Darius Crooks is an influencer. And unfortunately, even in covering this, sometimes she influences my palate. <laughs> I don't want her cooking, don't get me wrong. But sometimes I'm like, damn, I ain't had no meatloaf in a long time. I can make one. Some mashed potatoes and some cornbread that ain't falling apart like her. She don't even know how to, can't even scoop hers out. Hers is uh, corn crumbles. <laughs> Not cornbread, cor corn crumbles. Okay. I'll put it on the table so it can cool. So we can deal with it later. Mm -hmm. This is so good. Honestly. Is it good? Honestly. Good. Oh, my God. Good, man. Good, good, good. So that's shrimp and grits. That's like a... Oh, my God. And now he got to repeat. Yeah, so that's shrimp and gr grits. How many goddamn times you going to say? You think he forgot what he's eating? It's ridiculous. Quintessential brunch dish that you can find on almost any menu at a, a black spot in America. Or Cajun spot or New Orleans spot. Shrimp and grits is like the thing. Mm -hmm. He fucking it up, y'all. <laughs> I fuck with it. <laughs> All right. Don't forget the discount code. They said, breathe, Tommy, breathe. <laughs> <laughs> breathe, Tommy, breathe. The discount code is shopdariuscooks.com. Don Thurland says, Tommy lived in, in New York City. <laughs> he probably did. You know, New York real diverse. And I could see him getting a taste of black culture, but he's also getting a taste of all the other cultures. And that's why he kind of knows some stuff, but not other stuff or act like he don't know other stuff. I, 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 I feel that one. If he did live in America, it probably was New York. <laughs> uh, what time was that? Uh, that was prone. OK, thanks, Don. I just saw it go by. That was promo number 20. So I wasn't off. I told you I was 20 something times because I hadn't counted the first few of them. But as I was editing, it was like, damn, how many times is he going to say it? I started tracking. I started clipping and then color coding it. So each time he said I would clip that that piece and make it a different uh, yellow. So then all I had to do was cut all, uh, count all the yellow parts of the video. <laughs> it's ridiculous. 
or the discount code rather is Bali60. The site is shopdariuscooks.com. Uh, you could save a lovely, beautiful 60% while I'm live, all right? ShopDariusCooks.com. Oh, comes back in. Not Tommy, your lunch is ready. <laughs> I love it. Y'all so funny. I love it. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. She's not done yet. Oh my God. That's amazing. I should have did so. I am going to do something with that. I, I In the moment, I was just trying to, by this time, I had been editing for hours, and I just wanted to get this done, and it was getting closer to us to go, uh, for time for us to go live. But I got to do something with that. I I, I got to do something with it. It's, it's going to, y'all going to see this somewhere. Oh. oh, my God. All right, soul food. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> it's Sunday right now. It, it is crazy. Sunday. It's Sunday here in Bali. I'm calling the name of the law. Jesus! Yeah, those are grits, okay, man. Oh, hold on. But it's going to be better with the potatoes. Don't, aren't you not excited about this? Oh, this is so good. This is going to be so amazing. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait to eat this. See, Tommy, that's real macaroni and cheese. Oh, oh I did miss it. Ugh. This thing is so hard to navigate. <laughs> Y'all, that's good. Y'all, that. The hell? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. oh my God. All right, soul food. Jesus. <laughs> It's Sunday right now. It is crazy. Sunday. It's Sunday here in Bali. I'm calling the name of the law. Jesus! Yeah, those are grits, man. Those are the way we make our grits. Mm. Back at home. Oh, my God. It's polenta, but this is how we make our grits. <laughs> wow. You serve together. Serve it. It's bowling. Damn, I got far behind. Okay, hold on. Let me fix this. Part of E. coli. The knife. Okay, I'm going to give up. You can smell it. Let's get the next taste. Here we go. In the kitchen. You know what I mean? I mean, you don't need filter water to clean the dishes. You know, you could use their water to clean the dishes, but beyond that, you want to be very careful, okay? <laughs> Making cherries look good. Now this is authentic. Mm -hmm. This is 100% soul food mac and cheese. Right. This is not craft. This is not, um, I don't know what you get in the store. This is 100% Black grandmama, macaroni, Ooh. and cheese. That looks so good. Mm. One hundred percent black grandmama, mac and cheese. Now I don't know if you're gonna like it or not. Let me taste it first. See if you're gonna like it. I'm gonna taste it first. Let me taste it first to see if it's something that he would like. See if I like it. <laughs> Ain't no way you're gonna hit that. Ain't no way. All right, all right. Ain't no way, sir. You know, I'm just gonna take that part and get uh -huh, looking uh -huh. so good. Uh huh. Ain't no way you're gonna hit that, Doc. Ain't no way, baby. That's season to perfection. It's hot, man. Be careful. It's hot, bro. It's hot. 
Yeah, that there, that's it right there. That's it right there. Ain't no way you're not liking that. Mm. Ain't no way. Mm. Oh. It's hot. Be careful. You're gonna be like us. <laughs> Ain't no way, man. Ain't no way. Wow. So good. Ain't no way you telling me that's bad. Wow. That is so good, y'all. I need a, I need a, a little plate for myself. Cause this, the cheese on the top. Yes, sir. Mm. Have this texture. Yeah, this is this is real. One hundred percent. Oh wow. Black grandmama approved macaroni and cheese. Even the mac and cheese and smoke that yesterday we mm. tasted. Yeah. Not mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. It's not this good. I said it was. I said we could do better. I told you we could do better. It was good. This is a lot. But this it wasn't like this. Way better. Yeah, it wasn't like this. This is way better. The mac and cheese at restaurant sale here in Bali. They not coming close to this one right here. Girl, this is real authentic. One hundred percent. Yeah, look at the cheese, man. Look at the cheese. They're just like, ooh. Yeah, ain't no way you eating this. Not like it. You can go to shopdariuscooks.com, y'all. The discount code is the word Bali68. What what number was that? <laughs> what promo number? If we had 21. Um, poll question I just took down is Do you think that Tommy has lived in the US or some other country? 78% of you say yes, 22% of you say no. Um, I know Crooks is acting as if he's always been in Indonesia. So again, though, nothing Crooks. We can't go off what Crooks is saying. We we can't. Nothing has been adding up. A quick Google search uh, lets us know that that's that's just not true. Poll question I just put up is: Do you think the Darius Crooks Soul Crab menu is going to be too Western for the people of Bali? And the reason I say that I, I don't think I don't know if it's in here or if I missed it or what. But Darius Crooks, maybe it was in some other uh, uh, footage I was watching, but Darius Crooks has said he has figured out the menu for the hip hop, whatever it's called, uh, soul restaurant there in Bali. It is going to be a, um, he's going to use the same exact menu he used as Soul Crab, uh, Soul Crab. And he said that Tommy said that that menu was perfect. So again, she don't have not a nan original idea. Huh? She's so freaking lazy. She gonna use the same menu from a restaurant that's defunct and closed three years ago now. Two years, was it two years ago? Three years ago now. She too lazy to figure out a new menu that could work for Bali. Or at least change some stuff. She just like, oh, cut and paste. <laughs> lazy. Because it's only about the money for her. So just so you know, that's why I put that, uh, wrote it that the way I did. Because Darius Crook said he's going to use the same menu. So those D-Havers who enjoy going to Soul Crab, uh, Soul Crab, Chicago or Atlanta, now you can uh, travel to Bali to have the same food. <laughs> I saw our cat. Oh, there we go. I was. I know I saw that. Go back. Uh, Marianne said that we got 23 promo codes and 18 mentions of what black folks do, don't do, stereotypes, misrepresentations, 18 times. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> All right, we're wrapping this up because I'm uh, we're getting out of here in, in the next 12 minutes. I gotta get some more, I gotta get some rest so I can get some more content out for y'all tomorrow. I, I pretty much know what we're gonna do, but I gotta put it together. And they're gonna be as complicated as this. <laughs> Probably not. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna make this is delicious. And you know I'll be eating two bites and be done. I'm still eating it. It's amazing. It's not there's nothing even to say about this. Yeah, this is so good. I don't care if I burn my thumb and not be able to taste it. Yeah. Because this but do you this think that you think this He don't care about burning his Tommy said just in case you missed it, he don't care about burning his tongue and not being able to taste it. 
isn't the whole point of eating when you're eating like that to be able to taste the goddamn food? And if you don't care to taste it, maybe because you didn't enjoy the taste? Ain't that the part you want? <laughs> Craziness. So do well in the restaurant. Very well. I agree. I agree. Uh, KG is saying it looks runny to me. It looked way too runny to me. But again, if Tommy ain't familiar with soul food, he don't know no better. How are we taking Tommy's opinion of what's good for soul food? <laughs> Nobody's doing this. Nobody's doing this. Nobody's doing this. I like this. Mm-hmm. We got to film this whole process. We're going to market it. Mean, Nobody, nobody's it. making macaroni like this. No. You think that was shade, to, uh, Shanice? Uh, Tommy is uh, is shady. Like, I don't care if it do burn my tongue and I can't taste it. <laughs> Please burn my tongue so I can't taste no more of this. <laughs> Buddy. This has soul. It has flavor. Ain't nobody. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Love me back. So I told you, every once in a while he say stuff, you think he black. He not. <laughs> Yeah, very. Good. This is dangerously good mm. to the point where it will be hard to stop eating this. I'm not. I'm not gonna stop. <laughs> this is so good. It don't make no sense, y'all. Wow. Oh my god. Yeah, that's delicious. Oh my god. Yeah. So that is real, authentic, one hundred percent. Macaroni and cheese. Mm. It's not that craft wow. stuff. It's this. This is what we like, man. And it's al dente. Yes, and it's al dente. Exactly. And it's al dente. The, the pasta is not mushy. No. The pasta has some body to it. It has some chew to it. It's, it's not so mushy. Watery. It's, it's not, not watery. No, it's not watery. It's no. not watery. No. It is so good. I'm about to cry. I'm about to cry. <laughs> This reminds me. This is how it's supposed to be. Wow. You know how it's supposed to be. You know what? This reminds me of nothing because I never taste anything this good. Ah! Chicken meatloaf. Now, this is the meatloaf that's in stories from my grandmother's kitchen, FYI. Okay? Let me get the book and show you. Hold the line. That is in stories from my grandmother's kitchen. Bam. What is that? What is that? Bam. What is this? ShopDariusCooks.com. The discount code is the word Bali. 60 at checkout you can save 60 percent while i'm live that meatloaf don't look like the one in the picture he too like bam like he improved something uh it don't look like the one in the picture <laughs> it don't <laughs> at shop dariuscooks.com okay this is what's in the cookbook this is what i made <laughs> the similarity are we at 25 donna saying we had 25 promos dag that was a quick jump he got a well he about to end so he got a bunch of men wow <laughs> that's supposed to be me and he proud look at him y'all look at him. oh i gotta screenshot this <laughs> hold on <laughs> i'm producing in the middle of the show hold on i gotta screenshot this i can't let that one fly i can't let that one go back <laughs> I need this for a, a, a trolling moment in the future. I don't know when or where. Here we go. Okay, let's continue. Similarities are uncanny. Okay? The similarities are uncanny. All right? It just goes to show you. Go get them right now. What's in the book? It definitely works. Okay? And that book is 60% off. At shopdariuscooks.com. Potatoes are almost done. I want them to go a few more minutes. All right, any more questions for Tommy? Receive my cookbooks today, beautiful. 
I think we got like a minute or two left. <laughs> they said, your wife may have lost me to that soul food cooking. No, he's going to go home to his wife, trust me. He's going to leave here and go home to his wife. Okay? My wife wants some of that cooking too. Can you ask Tommy if he is sleepy? Yes, sir, indeed. I we call that the itis. You ever heard that before? Oh, here it comes. Who who made that comment about the itis? Oh, my God. Here, here you are, GR. I don't know if you're still here. Because we've been on here a long ass time. <laughs> but GR's comment... When Crooks was explaining the itis to Tommy was very cringe. Some some of some things, some things are only for us. Listen to Darius Crook. Uh, get ready for y'all counting the infractions of black culture. <laughs> Listen to this one. No. The itis. So the itis is what black people get after we eat. We get sleepy. Oh, the itis. And we call it the itis and we go to sleep. I'm Ida's right now. Yeah, it, <laughs> it really comes, I'll tell you where it comes from. It comes from a derogatory right. sentence, right? And it's, you heard the word nigga before, right? Ooh. And you know nigga is a bad word, right? Yeah. So we say, if you're talking to another black person, it's fine, right? right? You can say, we call it nigga Right. Oh, and that's like, when, that's like the black people's term for we done got sleepy after we eat. So now we right. just say the itis. But I haven't got the pass, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, no, no, no. You ain't got no. the pass. No, no, you don't have the pass. No, you don't have the pass yet. I know I'm a light skin, but I'm still a... No, I'm no not right, 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 right. I don't know if you no. got the pass just yet. I don't think anybody... I don't think... I don't think anybody would be upset. Right. But they would definitely look like... What? <laughs> Who's that? They would definitely look, okay? Did Darius Crooks just give this man um, a potential pass for being able to, at some point, use the N-word for all black people? Hold on, I'm going to do a poll because this is our last one. Let me close this out. Do you think that Darius Crooks' soul crab menu is going to be too Western for the people of Bali? 90% of y'all say yes. Wow. 10% say no. Poll question. <laughs> Does Darius Crooks have permission to get this? <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Would you have a prob problem with Tommy using the N word? Would you have a problem with Tommy? I don't know if it's a typo in there. No, I'm tired. Would you have a problem with Tommy using the N word? Because this fool just told him that, well, he can't use it yet. But if he did use it, he don't think nobody be really mad at him. We just give him a side eye like a motherfucking hell. He don't have permission now and never will. They just let him do and say anything. Right. <laughs> so, itis. The itis, yeah. The, we, itis. the itis, yeah, man. Of the meatloaf. So you get an idea of how it looks. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so to serve up some meatloaf, here's what we're gonna do. All right, we're gonna put a little bit of potato on the bottom, all right, like that. Okay, and then a slice of meatloaf right on top. Tommy's never had meatloaf. And it's so crazy because it's what, and you could do like an oil or garnish, onion, mm. fried mm -hmm. shallots or something on top of it. Yeah. And you can sort of go crazy. Yeah. But let me taste it first to make sure it's not, it's right first before I give it to you. So this is now, this is normally how you guys would have it. Sometimes you make it with you make it with pork right. and beef mix. This is 100 percent chicken. Okay. So it's a chicken meatloaf. Okay. But we this is what we would have on like a weekday. This is not a special meal. It's like a Wednesday night meal. Oh, so ooh, it's sliced free with it. Yeah, it's like a Wednesday night meal. We would have this like on a Wednesday night. I'm gonna try the potato first. And a little salty, but it's fine. It's like a slight touch mm. on you. It's good. Ooh, there's a lot of texture in the potato yep. too. A lot yep. of spice. Yep. Yep. A lot of them. Oh, wow. 
And this is chicken meatball. This is amazing. It's delicious. You guys, so lucky to have this food over there in the U.S. Wow, this is amazing. Yeah, the chicken meatloaf is hands down. Mm. Yeah, that's outstanding. Oh my God. Y'all put my foot in that. Mm. Y'all put my foot in that. Yeah, that's good. Oh. Mm. oh my God. Mm. I feel blessed today. <laughs> and I, I felt, I was nervous because I'm like, will they like it? Mm. Do you think people would tone the salt down in the potato a little bit? But do you think people would go for that? And then we do chive oil, or charred smoked chive oil. Mm. We do onion stacks on top of here, fried onions, something like that. Make it look right. really beautiful, really pretty. And it's a beautiful big serving. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think local would love this. Yeah. And for Balinese thumb, we probably need some natural. Right, Voodoo Queen. I thought that was a uh, from the Boondocks episode. It's a little spicy here in Bali, so yeah. Mm. 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 Yeah, I like that. All right, y'all. That's mac and cheese, shrimp and grits, peach cobbler, mashed potatoes, and milo. All right, I have made an entire spread. You got about 10 more minutes. The code is uh, Bali60, shop <laughs> DariusCooks.com, all right? I'm going to get some of this cleaned up so I can get back in the pool, all right? And um, it's almost midnight in the United States on the East Coast, 11.45 uh, p.m. in New York, 10.45 in Chicago, uh, 9... All right, we don't need no time. Uh, I see uh, Quin Quinlan... Quinn Lee is saying no vegetables shaking my head. Exactly. But he was crooks was dragging black owned restaurants across the United States last year, talking about how that's the problem with you black folks. Y'all don't eat healthy, et cetera, et cetera. So all he showed was, um, again, diabetic inducing food uh, that we have gotten away from over time. The slave food, <laughs> basically. Uh, thank you so much, RN Smith, for your um, for the the cash app friend. I think um, yours came in after I read the uh, other group. Um, poll question: We're closing out. Would you have a problem with Tommy using the N word? Ninety three percent of y'all say yes. Seven percent of y'all probably look like Tommy. <laughs> y'all like I like to use it because <laughs> everybody who watching ain't black. Just in case y'all didn't know, everybody ain't. Um, Oh, I'm gonna do the poll. I'm not poll. I'm gonna do the the questions I had starting. Then we're gonna get on out of here because we gotta come back tomorrow. I gotta get get enough time to rest and then uh, get tomorrow's show together. I think tomorrow. Yes, I got stuff to do. But have we going tomorrow? I think tomorrow. I think tomorrow. Make sure you're subscribed to the um, our VIP text community. That's definitely the best way. Is that a part of this ticker now? I don't think so. Let me put it down there. The VIP text community is the way to where is it where is it oh it's a part of that um the vip text community which is 312-847-2346 that's the best way to stay uh in touch with me uh that's how you get updates of when i'm going live and um uploading videos and we had like a a watch part and a, well, a premiere on sunday i think that was then we did an impromptu uh, live late last night. Those I sent out those sort of notifications via the VIP text community. So if you want to be connected in that way, also if anything ever happens to these platforms, because you none of us own them, uh, that's a way that you'll always be able to stay in touch with. If you're like, where Vale go? Vale's channel is gone. Then you know where I'm at. I'll be able to communicate. Say, hey, catch me over here instead. Um. Oh, the comments. I'm like. Okay, we went through that, the Idis con convo, which was just appalling. And um, I've never heard, I've just heard Idis, but I ain't heard us say the N-word Idis. This is crazy. But anyway, I ain't going to entertain her foolishness. Jane Doe, uh, that's the point of the con man. They extremely unassuming. That's true. A really good um, con man, you are totally right, is very unassuming. And that's what I was saying about Tommy in the very beginning, like, Sound like mobster kind of tendency in the sense of Tommy can leave hundreds of dollars in his center console 
walk around and nobody will touch his money. But Tommy also happens to know everybody. <coughs> He's calling Tommy the mayor of the town. That tells me people know stuff about Tommy that crooks don't know. There's a reason why ain't nobody messing with Tommy. But yet Tommy got a bunch of haters. <laughs> got to use that brain. Tommy entertains tourists all the time. It's uh, manipulation at its finest. Uh, and sis, sis scam scam. Oh, sis scam scam is so simple minded. Uh, he thinks he's so smart and doing something nobody else has ever done in life. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did y'all hear? Did I play for y'all? Well, he said that he's so covered that he feels like if somebody walked up to him with a gun and pulled the trigger, the uh, the, the the gun wouldn't go off. She really full of herself. She really thinks she's above repro reproach. Good luck to her. Says, and the booger wolves uh, all over there on that live. Oh, I'm coming to Bali. Yep, I'm looking for tickets now. What hotel should I stay at? So dumb. Yeah, they are. I've seen those lives too. Actually, we played the one for the lady in Miami. When you when you gonna open it? Oh, because me and my huh, we got a birthday coming, and Tommy gonna say this and that, and Roger, his birthday coming up too. Ooh, so when you think, oh, and has Bali different from America? How is it different? <laughs> like all that. Extra. Uh, I thought he lived in Georgia at a time. I don't know if you're talking about Tommy or Crooks. Tommy, we don't know where Tommy didn't live. We ain't found that out yet. Supposedly he's from Indonesia, but obviously there's something else going on. Crooks, as far as there is Crooks, yes, he lived in Georgia up until last year sometime. He was there for about 10 years or something like that. I forgot. Uh, nobody in their right mind would go into business with someone from another country in that short amount of time. I'm being, I'm beginning to look at Tommy. I, I yeah, something, something is off. It's off. Uh, Mother Dragon says, has he mentioned how much he's made from doing this? Uh, I don't know if you meant the live stream. Uh, he hadn't bragged about a particular amount of money in this particular live stream. He usually waits till they're over, but usually it has to be some kind of drama for him to make enough money that he wants to brag about. I'm sure he made, you know, a couple thousand dollars tonight. Uh, SM says, oh, my God, I'm in the States. He says he's tired of shrimp and grits and criticized restaurants for overkilling the dish. Look at him now. Could this <laughs> be on the menu? He's saying, yeah, they're going to put it on the menu. Exactly, though, uh, SM. It's a problem when other black restaurants do it, but now it's it's uh, a, a dish, a required dish for his uh, Bali restaurant. But that's how she is. She's a walking hypocrisy, a walking hypocrisy and liar, pathological liar and sociopath. Voodoo Queen is saying Darius is definitely about to get scammed. I mean, that's the the, the majority consensus around here. So we're going to keep watching this. So I'm, I'm interested to see if y'all prediction is going to be correct. I'm like I said, for me, I know it's going to fall apart that I know for a fact how that I'm still the jury for me is still out. I don't know if Tommy's going to be the one to get the come up in uh, 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 at the end. I'm not sure. I hope so. Even if he's a criminal, I really hope he wins. <laughs> I just do. Uh, Nana is saying Tommy's wife is going to be with him in the ER holding his barf bag. Right. Well, Tommy was already saying that he, because uh, after this went off on his Instagram live, Darius stayed on and, you know, he'd be love bombing them. So he was talking to them. Tommy was talking. They were saying stuff. I got that recorded. Um, and Tommy ended up having to go to the bathroom and was away for a minute. And then he did say that it was messing up, messing with his stomach. But he was saying it was worth it. Uh, and then uh, Darius Crooks went and got on the pool on Tommy while Tommy was still there. <laughs> I'm like, he's so ignorant. He got a guess and he just went and got in the pool. And they like, uh, shouldn't you be keeping Tommy company? He's like, oh, he in there. I'll go back in in a minute. It's just like, what? <laughs> Sock Snob Films is saying uh, that's what you decided to teach him about black culture. Yes, the itis. And 
and that he gets a, a pass with the N word at some point. He can earn his way to being able to use it. Craziness. Nicole Dry, we got two more. This is uh, second to last. Uh, no, the F we don't say uh, in itis. I don't even use the N word, let alone throw it, uh, in itis. Yeah. Yeah, all black people do that, though, Nicole. That means you uh, you, you, you got to jump on board. You, you, I'm going to have to take your black card. <laughs> you ain't doing what, what all of us do. Mr. and Mrs. People, um, and what trips me out is he constantly calls his booger wolves broke, but he stays dry begging to them to buy his product. How many? What was the total, y'all? I, I missed the comment. Uh, I saw y'all doing it, but I missed uh, saving it. Uh, let me see if I find out. Let's get our totals for the evening. And then we do another one of these. We'll just start keeping, keeping our totals. <laughs> Let's see. Did I miss it? Uh, see if I can stay in the live chat. Let me do it over here. I know I saw y'all putting it. And then y'all on a delay, too, so. Oh, I really missed it. Well, y'all really been chatting up a storm. What's our totals, y'all? What's our totals? I ain't seen nothing yet. I know it was 20 something. Jesus, I missed this many comments. I'm missing a lot of com a ton of comments. Oh, well, I'm gonna have to because y'all ain't putting it in here. And I think the ones who were counting ain't um <laughs> they might be gone. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, I know it was 20 something of each. So anyway, it was a, a okay, there we go. Don Sterling is saying, I think it was 25 promos, right? It was like 25 promos. And I think it was like 18 or something of the um, misrepresentation of black people. So yeah, 25 promos and about 18 or so misrepresentations of black folks. That's how Darius Crooks rolls though. And also... Tommy doesn't drink, but uh, we got a ton of footage of him drinking. And on top of that, he ended up drinking within seconds of Darius Crooks saying that he didn't drink. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Um, uh, I, am he I am here, it says, uh, it was 19 men black mentions, and we went off uh, on the itis. Uh, I think the entire... Section counts for 10. <laughs> anyway, I will see you all tomorrow. Thank you for joining. Thank you for my moderators on the front end. I know I saw Alice. I think I saw Mary. I know I saw Marianne. I saw Marlena B and Don, Don Smart and anybody else that I may have uh, missed. I thank you so much. I think I saw Trey Keisha and Precious too, maybe. I know I saw Trey Keisha at a point. Um, but thank all of you for your, for your continued support. Please hit that like button if you haven't. If you're watching a replay, also hit that like button, subscribe, and share this content on whatever platform you are watching it on. And with that, on tomorrow, we will be back with more, another epic show. And um, with that, until next time, y'all make sure to take care and be blessed.